Pop smell it. my jeans, God. <laughs> smell my jeans. Get that shit smell out of my, my face, man. That's that musky shit. Right? That's dripping with your fucking sweat, bro. Connor. Is that what you're talking about when you mean bro. drip? God, you don't know how many people would pay for that experience. Smell you know? my jeans, bro. <laughs> to smell smell, God, smell Connor's sniff. jeans. Get, get the shit out of my face, man. Smell his jeans. Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Trash Taste Podcast. I'm your boy. I'm not your boy. I am the boy with the boys. <laughs> You fucking is stumbled that, through that. Is that, that didn't the worst you? intro you've ever done? <laughs> no, no. All my intros. I, are worse. I could feel. I could feel like your mind just like starting up as you're saying that sentence. It was yeah. Just like, I, I'm know, like, I'm like, you know, those really old lawnmowers your dad has. Yeah. We have to do <laughs> like five times until it finally gets started. That's my brain right now. So, how are you guys' weeks been? I just had an oh. absolute fucking ordeal this morning. <laughs> what? Uh, yeah. So, okay. So. This is like fucking what now? Like volume eight of Gaijin versus Japanese bank, right? Yeah, I, th- I, th- I think I think we're like at that volume now. Thriller yeah. in Manila, yeah. Gaijin versus bank. <laughs> the bank strikes back. <laughs> and uh, I mean, like to me, like now, like going to a Japanese bank mm. is kind of like going to the dentist now. Cause like I, I do anything I can to put it off. I like right? my dentist actually. I, really? You know, I mean, it's been great here. I, the bank's way far worse. <laughs> yeah. I, I would rather have like an ect- uh, anal rectal cavity whatever that is, opposed to going to the bank. An anal rectal <laughs> cavity? At the dentist. At the dentist. <laughs> I, would, the dentist. I would rather her use that drill Let on my ass. Let me see your teeth. <laughs> I, I would rather her do anything experimental. Honestly, honestly I agree. Because like, I, I've been putting off going to the bank for ages, right? Because yeah. I've needed to send money abroad to back home. Okay. Uh, because right now I'm helping my parents pay for the mortgage of their house. so. They can retire and have a nice, good, comfy good life. Good Asian you know? son flex, right there. Good, flexing right there. Yeah, you know, just, flex, just, flex. Just, just being a good Asian son, as you do. Um, <laughs> so, I mean, I've been doing this for like, basically since I started YouTube. But mm. since I moved to Japan, obviously, a lot, most of my money is now in my Japanese bank account. Right. And I've known for a while that I've needed, that I was going to need to transfer money into mm. my British bank account. Of and course, of course. I was just dreading this, right? <laughs> as as you do, as you do with any Japanese bank experience. Yeah. Um, what I didn't realize was that I was going to have like the biggest ordeal I've had yet in the oh, Japanese God. bank. <laughs> Um, so Go I mean, on. like, so I'm just like, okay, I book the appointments because you can, you can't do anything online, as we've said, course, on, on call. God forbid you can, yeah, be in the 21st century. <laughs> yeah, right. Yeah. So uh, I turn up as usual, and uh, normally when we turn up to the bank, uh, they normally have one guy who works there mm. that uh, acts as an interpreter because he speaks English and Japanese. Right. 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 Um, so he wasn't there today. So. <laughs> but they just let you do the appointment. Did you? Did they know you? Yeah, yeah, they, oh, they knew oh. it was me. They knew, so, so you know the guy- Yeah, they weren't gonna be like, uh, Gant, or, yeah, that sounds yeah. Japanese. <laughs> <laughs> so so it, it was the same woman that uh, handles our accounts, but right. the interpreter, the guy who speaks English wasn't there this time. Okay. So I'm just like, okay, this is gonna, this is gonna like, this is gonna put my Nihongo Josu to the test, right? This is gonna <laughs> this is gonna stretch it to the fucking limits, right? Because because uh, I mean, thankfully I, I have been you know practicing as much as I can, especially yeah. my listening skills. Yeah. But uh, this is gonna this was gonna stretch it to the limits. Um, so like bank hard mode. Yeah. This, this, <laughs> this was bank like fucking Doom Impossible mode or whatever. <laughs> so um, so we start we start the process mm. and uh, we take we take inventory and I bring all my usual stuff, right? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, got my hanko, got yeah. my bank book, mm-hmm. got my bank card, got everything. Fully prepped? Yeah, fully prepped. Right. I'm like, I'm experienced. Yeah. I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fucking Japanese bank war, war veteran. <laughs> I know what the fuck I need to do at Japanese banks, right? So I'm just like, great. I know what happens on the battlefield. <laughs> so, yeah. I'm like, so I'm like, great. Um, so we start the process. I'm like, can I transfer money to my British bank account, please? Mm. Or transfer money o- overseas? And mm. she starts explaining to me the process. And I'm like, fucking hell, okay. I, I understand like, 70% of what you're saying. So okay. I'm like, I'm like, great. I'm following, I'm following what she's saying. I'm like, you know what? Maybe, maybe, maybe this, maybe this will be a smooth process. Yeah, so yeah, I, yeah. so I put in my name, put in, put in, um, put in uh, my address and mm. everything I need to do. Um, and then we get to the actual transfer part of it, okay. right? The, the actual transferring money to an overseas bank. Yeah. And so uh, she asks me uh, about the bank and I say, oh, it's a British bank, it's Barclays. Um, it's my account. Mm. Um, and then she says, uh, and he, he, here's, here's, where, here's where my Japanese got tested. She said something, right? Mm. And I heard, I heard transfer mm. and I heard purpose yeah. and I heard uh, connection. 
right? Mm. Okay. So in my mind- <laughs> Stitch it all together. In, you know, cause, cause, cause no, this, that's this, how you do it. This, yeah, that's yeah, this yeah. how you do it. So, yeah. so I heard those words. So I, sti- I stitched the meaning of the word to be, what was the purpose of the transfer? Right, right. right? Cause that's naturally. That's, that's, that's naturally what I assumed. Yeah. So I was like, oh great. I'm the purpose of my, my transfer- My friend in Nigeria. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> print actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so I tried to explain in the most broken Japanese I can, the purpose of my transfer is just to transfer money to myself. Yeah. In England, yeah. Yeah. I was I was like British bank account in England, my British bank account in yeah. England, transferring money to that. Yeah, and and she was like, no, 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 and she re and she re explains uh, and she re explains it, and I'm just like, okay, so how do I explain to her that I'm going to be paying a mortgage for my parents in England? And I'm right. just like. Like, okay, this is this is this. I, I don't know. I, you know, I, str- I struggle to spell mortgage in English. Yeah, yeah. yeah I'm, I'm just like, I, I I'm guess. Just like, I'm just like. I was like, uh, wait, mortgage has a T in it. And I'm just like, Yoshin no tameni ie o hai And I'm just like, and I'm just like, that's 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 the most I can come up with, yeah, right? yeah. which is which is better than what I would have done, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> which is basically uh, for the purposes of my parents, I'm. Paying, paying for their for, house, paying for yeah, their yeah, house, yeah. right? And she's like, no, 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 and 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 then we 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 just like try to brokenly what? communicate to each other, and then she just and then she whips out the Google Translate, yeah, and I'm just say, like, why don't you whip this out? And I'm just it. like, okay, here we go, here we yeah. go. And then uh, she she Google translates it, and she's she's just like, and the translation is, do you have any evidence that you have a connection to the purpose? Uh, to the person you're transferring to for the purpose of this transfer. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> what? It's it's me. It's literally it's, it's, me. It, it's literally, are, are we? <laughs> it's me. <laughs> it's it's me. Are we like, is, is this a fucking circus we're running here? Like what's, what's going on? Like how, how can I prove that I have a connection to myself, <laughs> right? So it's, the yeah, it's like, I, it's like I, if I were you, I would have been like, so how many fucking garden man in Tarfos do you know in the world? Yeah. This Tell the, me. This is Where? the thing that I was dreading much fan is that they just, nothing's ever good enough for no, the banks. No, like, yeah. It's like, no. Because, I, because- do, I, want, I want to see a passport of other you. Yeah, yeah because, like, because, because to a Japanese person, <laughs> Sending money to yourself overseas is just a concept that they don't understand. Yeah. It's like, wh- wh- why? Yeah, so why? so the first thing I say was like, uh, I mean, my names are identical. Isn't yeah. that enough proof? And they were, and she was like, no, no, no. It's because it's because in Japanese bank, uh, your first name comes second and your, sur- and your surname comes first. So it's yeah. Manitapo Ganto. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then in my British bank account, Barclays is Gant Manitapo. <laughs> yeah. And because the names don't match, they, they, obviously assume, they obviously assume I'm like a dual citizen. Like I'm fucking Jason Bourne with five different identities. You ripped up the passport <laughs> bag. <laughs> so, like, wait, which one? No, it's, like, it's actually Russian guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so I'm just like, what do I need? And yeah. she was like, uh, I, I don't know. I'm just like, and she was just like, um, I don't know. Do you have any bills? And I'm like, I, I don't have any bills because I live in Japan now. Yeah. Will, will like a bank statement do? Yeah. And she was just like, yeah, sure. A bank statement will do. And I'm just like, huh, do I have to print it out? And she says, yes, of it has to be do. printed oh out God. and scanned to us. I'm just like, well, shit, because obviously, Thanks. Can, I, can I borrow your? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Thankfully, with British banks, I can access my statements very conveniently on my phone. But you can't and, just do this. And on any and on any <laughs> electronic device. Yeah. And I'm just like, okay, how can? Okay, this is where my engineering problem skills <laughs> like come in because I first first thing I ask her is like, <laughs> how like yeah. how much like. Uh, can I go to the company to print off my uh, to print off my statement, right? Yeah. Uh, and she says, "Sure. Uh, how much time would that take?" And I ask, "How much time is this appointment booked for?" And she says, "I have an hour, All right? And the, the appointment's booked for an hour, so I have yeah. an hour yeah. time slot because I am not fucking going. I, I am not coming back to the bank just for the purpose." of this transfer yeah. and I'm not missing out on this appointment. So I'm like, fucking, I, I'm doing this right now. And and I'm just like, I'll, I'll be right back. I'm gonna go to the company, gonna print out my stuff. Um, print out what I could have showed you digitally. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I could have just done this. I could have yeah. sent it to you in an email. Email? You know, yeah. you get on those. Yeah. Exactly. So, so I, do you have a fax? <laughs> you can fax it to us. So I rush off to the company mm. and then I realized that um, so there's, so every company has a printer, right? And there's only a few ways to connect to that printer. Oh yeah. One way, you see where I'm going with this. One way is via phone and the other way is via USB stick. Yeah. So I was just like, okay, great. 
maybe uh, I got it on my phone, so I'll just connect via my phone. No. So um, I- <laughs> you, you think you will. <laughs> yeah. so, so that that that's me was like my first, my first option to problem solve this fucking issue that shouldn't be an issue, yeah. right? So I tried to download the app to connect to the printer. Um, the app's not available internationally. Of course. I have, uh, I have I'm, uh, my Google Play Store is still linked to my UK account. Luckily, luckily, that wasn't too big of an issue because I have a Japanese account as well mm. for this exact purpose of downloading Japanese apps. Right. Um, so obviously um, I download the app and everything is in Japanese. Yeah. And obviously my Nihongo is not Josu enough to figure out Never Japanese. <laughs> yeah, my, my, uh, my Nihongo was not good enough to figure out this app. Yeah. So what I did is I have a second phone, right? And this, translate and this second phone, <laughs> is my, my UK phone. So yeah. I, I have like this old UK phone. It's an iPhone 5, which is like my, my phone before I upgraded to this new phone yeah, now, yeah, yeah. Um, which is the only purpose for that phone is just so I have a UK SIM card so I can phone home or if any yeah. UK people want to phone me. So yeah. I'm fucking like, I'm fucking on my phone with another phone, Googly, Google translating <laughs> my phone I've, I've with another that. phone. I, I've done that. <laughs> and I'm, I'm just looking like a little fucking clown in the comedy being like, yeah. uh, uh. so I'm, I'm there for about full 10, 15 minutes trying to get this phone to connect to the printer. Yeah. It just does not want to no, connect. No. Fucking, I don't know what is going on with the app. I don't even think it was the language. I just think it no, was the app I, and the I've printer. Tried, I've tried using that app and I tried this, for like an hour. Yeah. It yeah. just doesn't connect. This is why I just always carry around a USB stick. Yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah, same, Japan, same. You never know when you need to print something yeah. yeah. So, so I'm like, fuck, this isn't going to work. Okay, I, 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 I've 15 minutes have passed. The time is ticking. I've only got like, <laughs> I've, at, at this point, I've only got half an hour left of the appointment. Right. And I also still need to fill out the rest of the form. So yeah, I, yeah. I've got another 15 minutes the most. So I'm just like, okay, I, I need to find another way. Thankfully, I remember I bought my laptop with me. Great. Good so I can, I, and I have a USB stick as yeah, well yeah, yeah. in my bag. So I'm just like, great. Um, I just need internet. So unfortunately, with Japanese Sims, you can't tether internet. No. <laughs> so it's like uh, an, it's like an option you have to pay for. Yeah, exactly, yeah, no. exactly. So I'm just like fucking googling where is the nearest internet why uh, internet hotspot. So I, I look for coffee shops, right? Yeah. So I'm like, brilliant. There's a or, fucking or like a McDonald's or something. Yeah, yeah. So yeah. Brilliant. Oh god, it's, it's just like everything you do. There's another thing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, god. So it's like side quest to complete the side quest. Yeah. yeah. So brilliant. Right. Then but I have to order a drink because yeah. I'm in a Starbucks. <laughs> <laughs> Brilliant, there's a Tully's coffee shop, like right, you know, a block down from here. So yeah. I like fucking sprint to this coffee shop. I don't want to buy a coffee because that's just adding more time on. So yeah. I'm like outside the coffee shop and I'm and I'm just like fucking, I'm just like fucking watchdogs, you know, like I, 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 take, <laughs> I take out my laptop I, I, in the middle of the, in the middle of the street. I take out my laptop, open it, fucking connect to the Wi-Fi. That's I'm just so like, ghetto. <laughs> and it's, yeah, it's like a scene of watchdogs or something where I'm just like- Turning I'm, off I'm, the traffic lights. I'm, I'm <laughs> hacking, I'm hacking fucking, into the mainframe. I'm hacking the system. So I, I like download Download, download my download my statement. Put it in my put it in my USB stick. Yeah. Run back to the fucking combini. Then I can finally print off the statements. Yeah. And I'm just like, and by then, 20 minutes have passed. So I fucking run back to run back to the bank, and I'm just like, do I have enough time to complete this transfer? And she's like, yes, yes, we'll make enough time. Don't yeah, worry. I'm yeah, like, yeah. thank fucking god. Okay. So I hand her the statement, yeah. right? And she's like, okay, great. We can use this. Yeah. And then, then so we start, we start to start, we start filling out the rest of the form. So she asked me for my British uh, account number and account details. Yeah. And so I whip out my uh, Barclays debit card yeah. and she looks at it and she goes, oh, we could have just used that. And I'm just like, <sighs> oh my God. I am literally about to scream right now. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> and you know, and, and, and if you ever ask a bank like person, like being like, why didn't you tell me that before? Then they'll just be like, well, you did not. <laughs> yeah, like, I mean, like I'm just under the Pandora's fucking yeah. box. It's like, cool, thank, yeah. thank you for giving me all the options. Was there, was there a transfer limit that you could do? Uh, there wasn't a transfer limit, thankfully oh, enough, but yeah. the transfer itself cost uh, $80, which is just like <sighs> fucking so well, just, I think I think so, the reason why Japanese banks, because I, I read the, up on this uh, before, because I had to I had to help Aki do the exact same thing, right? right. So like send money back home uh, for her parents, and like yeah, I had to go through this. I, obviously, I didn't have the problem with the Google Translate thing, so I got it done in one go. Yeah, but my I was just like Jesus Christ, like why why is this just such an arbitrary <laughs> process? Like it shouldn't take this long, and then. I saw like a thing being like, oh, it's because Japan uh, has like run into like a lot of like money laundering issues. And I'm like, 
I don't know if anyone can be bothered to money launder if it takes that fucking long <laughs> to do it. Like it's Honest- not even worth Honestly, it. Honestly, it's probably a deterrent at this point. Yeah. Like why would you money launder in Japan when <laughs> <laughs> when, when it takes like a full day to process? I'm like, I can't be fucked to money launder anymore. I'll, I'll just be a law abiding citizen. <laughs> Honestly, it's probably easier to like abide by the law than money launder at that point. I feel, Jesus. I feel like the you know, money laundering is, is not an issue that is on the everyday consumer and right? user of the bank. I feel like we should really be looking at these massive I, I guarantee, billion dollar transfers yeah, that are done I, from I guarantee it was probably like, it happened maybe like once or twice. Yeah. And then obviously ja- every Japanese company, when something bad happens once or twice, they get super paranoid about it. And they're mm. like, guys, we have to stop this money laundering crisis. It is unstoppable. Make the process as bullshit as possible mm. so it, that, that no one can be bothered well, to is, do it. Is that really the reason why? Cause I, I, I've noticed that like anything payment wise, Japan is very easy to send money to, mm. but very difficult to get it out of. And I just wondered if that, I, I just assumed that was like Japanese government being like, yeah, we want money to stay here. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's probably also yeah. a thing as well. I'm sure the money laundering thing is just like a, a farce, like, yeah. a, like a public thing that they just say, but I think guarantee yeah, they're safety. just like- That's why we don't let yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we don't want you breaking any laws. <laughs> have you ever like sent, have you ever been scammed via like any money, money scheme or something like that? Cause like, I remember, I remember like the- Like phone scams and stuff like that? No, just like, just like been scammed with like transferring money and then you never got it back or something like that. Cause oh. I, I remember when I was, uh, the, the only time I've sent money that was just like, I could just got completely scammed mm. and I rightly so got scammed because this was when I was trying to buy a fake ID when I was, uh, when I was, uh, when I was underage, right? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah, yeah, I mean, no, I totally deserved instant it. Instant karma compilation. No, no, it is, it is. I, I, I absolutely deserved it. But yeah. I, I, cause like, I remember, you know, back, back when you were a UK teen, you know, the person who had the fake ID mm. was the cool guy, right? He because, was the king. Yeah, yeah he, he was the fucking king. Cause yeah. he, could, he could buy the drinks. He, you know, he, he could, he could buy the alcohol. He whips out the realistic looking fake ID. And it's not just like the obviously like really, uh, like obviously fake student ID that yeah. you can buy from, buy from like five dollars on the mm. uh, from from like some guy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so so I was just like, how did you, so I I knew a guy who had a fake ID. Mm. So I was like, how did you get it? And he tells me this, you know, really dodgy fucking website. And I'm just like, <laughs> of course. And I'm just like, <clears throat> am I desperate enough to uh carry the risk of trying to purchase this ID? <laughs> he says as he was downloading <laughs> Tor. Because <laughs> no, no, no. this is how it's I on Amazon. Because <laughs> this is how I realized because the you couldn't pay by card with oh this God, website, Bitcoin. right? Yeah, no, 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 no. This is this is far. This was way before Bitcoin. Oh. Uh, you had to transfer via Western Union. Oh, right? oh my God! <laughs> and so, that, like literally anything with that is a scam. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> anything that uses. I'm pretty sure that's how Western Union makes money. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Through scams. Which is which, scams, which is yeah. which is why I asked, right? Because I ob- I obviously because I, I had never heard of fucking Western Union before. <laughs> I was just like, what the fuck is I Western only Union? I know about it from scams. Yeah, same, <laughs> same. Yeah. Now, now, now I do know about it from scams. Yeah. Um, and so because I tried, I was like. I tried sending this, I was like, how do I send money via Western Union? Is that a bank? Is that like some Nigerian bank or something? Like, like I've, I've never heard of this before. And like, I, I th- threw buying this fake idea because at that point I was a dumb kid yeah. and I was stupid enough to just try. I you, was, were, you were desperate. Enough. I was stupid and desperate enough yeah. to just try anything to like get a fake <laughs> ID. Man was desperate. Huh? Man was desperate. Yeah. Man. So I was like, sure, I'll, I'll try this Western Union stuff. Maybe, maybe, maybe it would, maybe it would work Famous out. And then I find out that you can only send like Western Union uh, transfers at not even banks, but like certain corner shops in yeah. the UK. Yeah, 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 right? Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, it's not. Like- it's not even anything official. It's, it's like the most. It's like the most dodgiest places you can send money, and these are the only places you can send yeah. money. And I'm just like, maybe it'll work out, maybe it'll work out. <laughs> That's like the equivalent of being like, you can buy this with cash, but we have to meet in an alleyway somewhere. <laughs> yeah, it can't be on the open road. I think I would have preferred to meet someone in the alleyway because at least there would be like another person I could communicate yeah, with, right? right? How much was it? Huh? How much was it? It was like 30 pounds. <laughs> oh, God. So, I mean, it, it, that was a lot for me as a 16 year old kid oh, yeah, or whatever, course. right? Uh, like, uh, uh, what was I trying to Moral of the story is, don't buy fake ID, kids. It's not worth it. Yeah. yeah and also, it, it yeah, it's not the, worth it because you didn't fucking get it. Yeah. yeah. Don't, don't be stupid like the me. The moment <laughs> you see Western Union as well, turn around. Like, don't <laughs> even bother with that shit. I know I just- I know Japan actually has like a lot of scams because like, you know how the population here is very old, Mm. right? Like the majority of them. So there's a lot of like phone scams that happen. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've I've heard about that. And the most famous like variety of phone scams is uh, they're called ore ore sagi, which means the me me scam. 
So basically how it works is a guy calls up like an old, you know, granddad or a grandfather who like, they do back research to see like, do they have grandchildren? Do mm. they have a son or a daughter? And they call them up and they go, oh, it's me, it's me. Right. Like posing as their son or daughter. Being like, oh, it's me, it's me. Um, I need help. You know, can you get me like X amount of money? So on right. and so forth. And so many old people fall for it. Well, because everyone's so, you know, yeah. polite in this country. You yeah, right. Yeah. That. It's it's insane how much, like my grandma <laughs> almost fell for it one time. I oh, remember wow. like when I was quite young. Um, luckily she didn't, <laughs> but like, yeah, there was, they asked for like absurd amounts of money, like, you know, upwards of like hundreds of thousands of dollars. Jesus. Well, Jesus. Just be like, yeah, can you transfer it? Like uh, tomorrow I'm like desperately needed. I just lost my job, blah, 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 all that kind of stuff. Every year, dude, like all people- I need $100,000. I need, <laughs> lost my job. Yeah, I lost my job. I, I need a hundred- I order a Domino's pizza in Japan. <laughs> I need $100,000. I need to buy out <laughs> all the Domino's stocks. <laughs> I need one large Domino's pizza from Japan. $100,000. It's $100,000. <laughs> There's also the, uh, I think, uh, actually, I remember I watched videos about people who became homeless in Japan. Mm. And apparently one of the scams that makes people homeless a lot of the time is guarantor scams. Mm -hmm. So like people uh, ask uh, people to be like guarantors on their rent and then they just run off. Oh and, yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah. And then they they have to pay the guarantor thing, and they lose a shit ton of money. Yeah, because most people can't afford to pay double rent. Yeah, yeah, which is uh, the shitty thing, isn't it? Yeah. Not not to mention the key money and like the I, fucking oh, that's money, a, that's all that a scam kind of Key money is a scam in and of itself. That's just a scam everyone's agreed to, I think. Yeah, yeah like, I think yeah. so. At, at what point does it stop being a scam, and is, does it just like- tradition is the biggest scam of all? I just I just don't understand the point of that. Just being like, oh yes, here is an extra month worth of rent mm. as a thank you for letting this peasant stay stay in your abode. And it's like, I'm, I'm fucking paying rent every month. Are you I'm, not happy with the rent money? I'm already paying you money to stay in your place. And you want to pay me extra money to be thankful that <laughs> I'm paying you money? I'm, I, why Are you am not I thankful <laughs> enough for the rent? <laughs> why, why should I be thankful so, so to yeah. pay you money? So yeah, yeah in Japan you have to pay one to two months rent up front. Yeah. yeah. Depending, depending. Some places you don't have to. Oh uh, yeah, my new and place. And it's not a deposit because you know, no, no. The deposits like- yeah, Everyone and, always asks, is it a deposit? No, no. no. Deposit there's a separate. deposit, yeah. which like comes back to you after you move out. But then there's key money, which just does not return. Mm. Yeah. yeah. It's, it's literally just like- uh, It's just a bribe. <laughs> That's all it is. <laughs> it's to be like, you'll let me it's stay, illegal. right? It's illegal. It's a legal yeah. bribe. It's like, you'll let me stay, right? Need some money. You know, at least uh, they don't, in Japan, they don't have to deal with like Microsoft scams. And uh, like the Indian call centers. Oh yeah, true. Oh my God, can, yeah. can you imagine that? <laughs> I, well, I, I think it's the reason we get them so much because any, any people can speak English. That's yeah, true. yeah, that's true. But I remember- The moment I, Indians can start speaking Japanese, it's over. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's right. I remember- no, I, it's, I, it's like the moment where actual companies move their call centers from India to li like literally any other country. Yeah. It's over, but it's, it's always over. in India. That's yeah. what makes it so hard sometimes. God. Yeah, <laughs> everywhere you'd call in the UK, it was always an Indian call center, mm. especially yeah. if it was internet. Yeah, yeah, the yeah. amount of times I'd call up and I'm like, I don't even know if I'm talking to a scam because the service is so <laughs> shit. You could fool me. No, I, it's, it's always like internet and banking as well, yeah. right? Which that's is, always great. Which to is have the a, two big things. Yeah, that's yeah. always great to have a dad who worked in IT because I never needed to call them. I'd just be like, yeah. father, yeah. help me, please. Help, help me. I know yeah, you're not yeah, Indian. Yeah, when I, when I first uh, uh, worked with Bookwalker, mm -hmm. um, I was doing a promotion with them and it was actually on one of my videos where I prank called scammers. Oh yeah. And this is where I learned that they don't have them in Japan. Mm. Because I'd made this video, right? Where I basically just called up scammers and I just kept promoting Bookwalker to them. Yeah, yeah. I remember yeah. that. Just yeah. kept doing it, yeah, kept yeah, doing yeah. it. And then I would like do a super cut of like yeah. the funniest moments. And they would get really pissed off. Yeah. And they would be like Microsoft. And I would just be like, I would just start playing the price, price is right music to them and just start basically doing a pitch <laughs> and just pissing them off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then whenever they block my number, I'd make a new number and I'd call them again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And so I, I filmed it and it was great. It was this really funny bit. It was like two minutes long and it was just great of mm. me. And it was great promotion because, I mean, yeah. you know. Well, yeah, I mean, that series just, was yeah. doing really well. It was for literally you. me just doing ad reads for two minutes to. Indians <laughs> and call centers. Yeah. yeah. Um, and uh, yeah, and then I sent it off to Bookwalker and I was like, oh God, they might not like it. Oh, and then they were like, yeah, oh, okay, it looks, uh, looks good. Uh, will we get in trouble with Microsoft for doing this? The truth comes out, Microsoft <laughs> backing up scammers. Yeah. No, it's because when we called them up, yeah. in, uh, they were obviously pretending to be Microsoft. Yeah, of yeah, course, yeah, of course. Yeah. So Bookwalker was like, oh, is it Microsoft? <laughs> Microsoft okay with you doing this? <laughs> How dare you harass their employees? <laughs> <laughs> Shit, do we need approval from Microsoft? <laughs> I was like, what? Oh, no. no, no, you know what this is, right? Like, no, what? what is it? It's like, a, yeah, it's like the scam, you know? They, they call you up and tell yeah. you about your PC being broken. They're like, no way. 
That's a thing? That's a thing, yeah. And I was like, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think That's it was Tim Aileen, actually. <laughs> you know when, when you call up Microsoft, you know who's going to answer first. Cortana is going to answer you first. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, exactly. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but the, the, it, was a, it was fake, but I, was, I had to make sure. Oh, yeah, sorry, it's even worse because Mailing's American. Mailing, Mailing should have known this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. written proof. <laughs> 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 written so, proof so that that she needed written proof that it was a scam. <laughs> So, excuse me, can you, can you give me approval? Can you sign in blood if, if, if you are actually scamming me right now? I'm not sure. <laughs> Only in Japan. Like, do you, you promise need written you, proof you from promise. scammers that you're being scammed. <laughs> you promise you won't scam me? I promise I won't scam you. Yeah, yeah. Scams you. <laughs> oh my God. Do I have your word, scammer? Yeah. Oh, do, I have your word? <laughs> do I have your word? I can trust you, right, scammer? Do you have a Hanko stamp? <laughs> <laughs> can I quick get a Hanko proving you're not a. <laughs> my God. <laughs> Yeah, that is true, actually. Now that I think about it, we don't have anything like that in Japan. To be honest, right? Because think about it. Even if Mei-Ling says that, she jokes saying proof, right? Mm. What, what's stopping a Japanese company from saying, oh, we're providing tech support. Yeah. They, they get their Hanko stamp, their Japanese governments. They start calling up people saying, hi, we're Microsoft. They probably wouldn't get shut down for a while. Like probably that. not. Because even if the report gets filed, the Japanese government will take five fucking years to analyze the case <laughs> yeah. and decide that it's a And scam. by then, they'll have fucking dipped out. Yeah, and then they'll have 10 new networks and companies. Yeah, so exactly. Well, I, I hope none of the Indian scammers see this. They're, <laughs> like, they're like, write that down, write that down, write that down. <laughs> five head move. <laughs> like, gentlemen, we are expanding. <laughs> Dave knows Nihonga. Get him in. Get him in. <laughs> um, he, he knows Keiko. Oh, no, surely fall. <laughs> who's seen anime here? Who's who's watched anime? <laughs> Oh my uh, God. I've, I've been getting into like the uh, you know the YouTube channels that uh, really look into the Indian scammers. Like uh, I think Jim Browning. Yeah, is, is that his mm-hmm. name? Just, I'm a big fan of them all. Yeah, I, th- I really love what Jim Browning does, and I I don't know what like uh, I don't know some of the other people as well. Some of the people who actually just phone them back up as well and just really troll them. I remember I saw one guy who got an Indian scammer so fucking angry that he was literally shouting yeah. on the phone. Well, have, you, have you watched <laughs> like? Uh, have you watched, like yeah, Kit Boga. Have you watched oh. Kit Boga? He does for ones where he does like, uh, like, uh, what's the inverse speed runs? I guess slow runs. Oh yeah, slow yeah, runs, yeah, yeah, yeah. Where he tries to keep them on the phone for as long as possible. Yeah, yeah. And I swear, so he's he on average gets it like four or five hours. Holy shit! Yeah. And just wastes their time. He's far too good at sounding like an old grand, yeah, like yeah, an old yeah, American yeah. grandma. He, he like he's 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 too good. He's at a that. filter, but he also like <laughs> yeah. does a really good job. Yeah, and he's got like the mannerisms down perfectly because he just does it all day. Just, yeah, like, yeah, just, yeah, just, yeah. So he's he's there pretending to be an old grandma for like six hours. Yeah, yeah, yeah. it's insane. <laughs> Coach, apparently. Oh really? Oh my oh, god! Man. That's, that's, that's someone dedicated to their. I've craft seen. Right I've there. seen some people get like nine hours though. Fucking hell! Call. And, then, and then yeah, yeah and then, runs, and then yeah. at the end, the the reveal is so great because you can just hear like how fucking annoyed the person. Yeah. But also, they, these scammers get so fucking angry yeah. if you're not fast enough. Yeah. Yeah. But you hear some of them where they're like, like, no, got the Walmart now, get the Google Play card now, <laughs> now you dumb bitch. They're like shouting at them. It's like, oh, oh shit. Yeah. this is some good customer service. Yeah. Like, this is still better than like Virgin Media UK as yeah. well though still. I, they, they, <laughs> <laughs> I remember because like I what, uh, what clocked me onto that was like, it was recommended, I got recommended just a random clip of just an Indian guy like shouting at full fucking volume. Oh, yeah, just like, why are you so dumb? Yeah. Why are you so stupid? Yeah. Why are you doing that? And I'm just like, what the fuck? Yeah, if you like click the wrong thing. Yeah. yeah. Bro, it's like traumatizing for these, yeah. these older people. Yeah, there. I bet. Yeah. Jesus like, Christ. Like someone could murder my mother and I don't think I'd be as angry as that. Yeah, like yeah, Jesus I, Christ. Right? Like, what the hell, man? <laughs> There's some really good Jim Browning ones where he like gets her like passport information yeah. like, on their PC and he like shows it to them. It's yeah. really fucking good. Oh my God. scare the shit Yeah, out. yeah, yeah. It's good. Check out Jim Browning if you yeah. are like, if you ever want to fall down a rabbit hole and uh, just wonder what is actually on the other side of whoever like phones up, phones you up and tries to scam people. All right. Good. I mean, if every one of those people that's uh, calling them back and fucking with them, it uh, saves, you know, one person's uh, money and time. Yeah, I mean, they, if anyone deserves to be fucked with, it's, it's scammers. It's scammers, right? Yeah, yeah, because, you know, even if you, you're you quite savvy with this stuff, it is, you know, you're unlikely to, if you hear an Indian accent calling you and telling you, hey, you need to pay X money to Microsoft, you're probably not gonna fall for it. But, yeah. you know, uh, that's because we know. Yeah. But also the old people- Older generation uh, yeah, have no idea, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah exactly. I, I have a distinct memory from when I was like, 10 mm. of my mum coming to me being like, you know our friend, apparently Microsoft called them up and said that they have some of the worst viruses in the world on their PC. <laughs> and I was like, wow, really, really? And I, that was all I heard of it. A week later she comes back, she's like, turns out it was a scam and they lost it. 
<laughs> and, they, and they lost 1,000 pounds. Holy shit. And I was like, shit. fuck, just for inflation, that's like 10 grand. I'm just, I'm just they said that they had the Y2K bug. <laughs> this, was around, this was around that time, I think. Yeah, so yeah, it might yeah. have, no, it wasn't actually, it was like 2004. Yeah. Yeah. I, was, I was very, very young and I just had this weird memory being like, that sounds strange. <laughs> that sounds dumb. That, why would Microsoft call you up? Why would they not just nuke your PC? Yeah, is right. Yeah. A problem. <laughs> <laughs> the, the thing that I've had to teach my parents is like, it, there, there, was, there was a period when they just were not tech savvy at all. I mean, mm. like they're still not exactly tech savvy, but at least they were not tech savvy enough to even attempt to go on the internet and mm. go on Facebook oh, and right, do that right. all stuff. And it, it was the point where they started to take more of an interest of being online and stuff like mm. that, that it, it, it really was kind of like stepping on eggshells when trying to explain to them that some emails are not real and some emails are oh scams. God, yeah. And it's just like, some, sometimes sometimes my mum just like will send me a message to be like, is this, is, should, should I click on this link? Should I click no. on that link? And like, I, I don't know how to properly convey yeah. which sometimes like, which emails are legit yeah. and which emails I, are not legit. It's kind of like explaining to someone over the phone how to defuse a bomb sometimes. I, I yeah. told my parents, right? I, I said, even if you get the email saying your account's been hacked or anything like that, yeah. I said, I told them, and the same with numbers as well. Mm. Uh, Cause my dad wa- n- nearly I think nearly fell for one a few mm-hmm. times. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I always told him, just just call them back. Like call the, go, like if you get called by your bank, go to the bank's website, call them. Yeah. yeah. You know, just, just immediately don't talk yeah, to yeah. them. Yeah. Cause you know, odds are your bank isn't going to call you. And if they do, they'll probably ask you a bunch of weird stuff. Yeah. If all like, like yeah, you know, any like social back. media gets compromised, quote unquote, from an email, then just yeah. go yeah. directly to, to the, the website, website yeah, yeah. and check. Yeah. So yeah. never, that, never Yeah. I nearly it. fucking fell for that, uh, the Google AdSense thing. The one yeah. That, Jim yeah, Browning yeah. fell for it. Yeah. 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 I actually didn't get that email. Really? Yeah. Dude, you're lucky, man. If Jim Browning fell for it, anyone can. Yeah. Yeah. I saw his video on it, actually. Dude, it is worryingly convincing. But that's the thing. Thing, right it's like it's hard to like convey to you you know your parents or your grandparents like yeah you know how to identify between a scam email and not a scam email mm. because i feel every year it's just get like that it, line is getting narrower it's and getting narrower. Good, man. It's, it's getting too good yeah. which is why like which is why i find it so hard to explain to them because sometimes i sec- i have to like second guess myself no, when I send yeah, email. Yeah, and yeah. i'm just like if i'm second guessing myself and I literally grew up on the internet. I work on the internet. Yeah. internet. How can my parents who have little to no knowledge of internet culture yeah, at all right? tell the difference? Yeah. And how am I supposed to convey that through text or through phone yeah. to be like, just just don't believe any email you get sent basically. <laughs> <laughs> what up lads, it's your boy. Here to let you know that this episode of Trash Taste is sponsored by Girl Cafe Gun. Girl Cafe Gun is an ARPG game that integrates TPS combat and has beautiful visuals and graphics powered by Live 2D. Build your dream waifu team by collecting multiple character cards. Use multiple fighting abilities and strategies by switching characters during intense gunfights. Do you want to prove to the world that you have a more galaxy brain than that of Nurusuvi Britannia? Then this is definitely the game for you, my lads. During the battle, the characters are oversimplified into Q version, which can satisfy different preferences of players. Plus, it's not all guns and fighting. If you want to run your own virtual cafe, the game's got you covered with a plethora of customizable decorations for you to choose from and different types of coffee to boot. Discover your own business sense by satisfying the needs of your lovely customers. Not only that, but you can also enjoy the diversity bonding system with high fidelity social interactions, including tickling, gift giving, moment sharing, and private messaging. Yes, you heard me right, my boys and girls. You can tickle your waifu in this game. I mean, not only do we have some of the most beautiful and aesthetic anime waifus that we have seen in a long time, but you can goddamn tickle your waifus in this game. I had to say that again because that's important information. So if you'd like to tickle your waifus and enjoy a great game, then make sure to check out Girl Cafe Gun by clicking the link down in the description below. And thank you for sponsoring this episode. Back to the show. I remember the first time that Maylene messaged me like to work with Bulk Walker. Yeah. Was a scam. I thought it was a scam. <laughs> honestly, honestly, I, I thought the same thing as well. <laughs> I was just like, I was just like, I was like no on. way, I was this like, is real. Hold on a second. It says Kadokawa. I'm like, the Kadokawa? <laughs> nah. And I, I, I swear the first one, I fucking deleted it immediately. I was like, nah, that's a scam. Get out of that. <laughs> and then Maylene messaged me, oh. like emailed me again after a week. And she's like, I don't know if you read my last email, but uh, <laughs> we're, we're interested in working with you. And I'm like, oh, this should I delete that again? Oh, there was a there was a YouTuber who, uh, oh, I can't which one they, they got uh, like offered a role to voice an anime yeah, right, by right. by Funimation, right? And they <laughs> publicly was a scam? and they publicly announced that they'd gotten the role, right, in the show. Oh. <laughs> 
and it was just a fake email. <laughs> <laughs> That's painful. Oh my god. That was like I that don't is... think I don't think I've cringed out of body in pain <sighs> for someone else more in my life. I, I I laughed, but that was that is just that oh is just that. That's god. a that's a bra moment. If, that, if if I did that shit and I found out it was a scam, I would just quit social. Media I think I would. Together. I think I would. Yeah, I would. Just I would not just share disappear my, from I would the not internet. Share my yeah. Also, you know, generally when you get roles and stuff, you're yeah. supposed to. Count yeah, you're not supposed yeah, to yeah, say yeah, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I guess maybe it was like a test. It was like, aha, yeah. no role for you. <laughs> gotcha. It's like Willy Wonka. It's like, ah, oh, you were too greedy. No role for you. <laughs> I mean, it was really Funimation. They just yeah. needed to pass the test. <laughs> right? it's, it's like Indiana Jones, like the Holy Grail. It's like, yeah. ah, you chose greed. No. <laughs> no, oh, because God. like going back, going back to the book walk emails that yeah. we first got. I think I, I think looking back, Maylin must have emailed me way earlier before I actually replied for the first time. Yeah. And what got me to reply was meeting you for the first time and being like, oh yeah, that that email from Maylin. That did you get an email from Maylin yeah. as well? And I was just like. That's not a scam. <laughs> That's real. <laughs> that was real this entire time. Wow. I, I I've remember. Just been, I've just been ghosting her and deleting all the yeah, emails. I remember. I think that. I think I sent that email to about like three or four different family members just to be like, "Does this look fake?" Because I'm really scared to reply to this shit and get like a virus. Because <laughs> like I don't even know. Luckily, it wasn't. But uh, yeah. Yeah. I don't know if it was the way that like Maylene wrote the email or what it was. Yes, I'm bl blaming Maylene. Blame Maylene. <laughs> And I think I think it was just before. This was before the point of AniTube, where <clears throat> we thought any kind Things of companies, yeah. like, would yeah, because contact but, us. because before that, like, the biggest com like I had not worked with any big company, right? Yeah, it was yeah. always like, like, you know, like that's just, true. Actually, like, yeah, it was it was not. A thing I was still at all. tiny yeah. back then yeah. as well, so I was like, no, no way, I, I can't. <laughs> this jump is too high. Yeah. That's, that's way too unrealistic. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's, I mean, argu arguably, Bookwalker kind of like paved the way in that way. I feel like Bookwalker opened up. Uh, I, I took the bullet <laughs> for everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'll take it for the for the good of the people. <laughs> Reply. <laughs> Reply. <laughs> did, did you see this? You, the YouTube scam there? Did you see what like the- I, I saw what it was about because I think literally ev all of my other friends got yeah. that email, yeah. including you yeah. guys. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, and so I was scared. I was, I, I was sifting through my email as yeah. well and I didn't get one. It's, so. It's so essentially what happened was is that I got an email mm. from a Google email. Yeah that said, oh, uh, they, it was the message was sent like, oh, you have a duplicate AdSense account mm -hmm. um, and you know your channel will be deleted. And I think that is one of the rules of AdSense is that if you do actually have multiple AdSense accounts, you will yeah. Yeah, you, yeah. You're, yeah. You get banned off AdSense. Yeah, that, you can only have one AdSense account. And, and they do send true. an email like that yeah. as well. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah, and I, I yeah. only have one AdSense account, but uh, we are, I had multiple channels. So maybe I thought, oh my God, there must be a mix up. Cause mm. you know, I recently just had the new channel and yeah. you know, yeah, so yeah. it was kind of an, but this is often how scams work though as well. They prey on very coincidental circumstances that have been happening outside of the scam itself. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. You know, like Jim Browning said in his thing, it's like, yeah, sometimes you order, you just order the product at Amazon. 10 minutes later, you get a scam email about Amazon. Just yeah. pure, pure, pure coincidence, mm. but it happens to play off a little bit, right? Yeah. yeah. Concerns. So yeah, it's this thing. And it, the one thing that was probably the red flag, which <clears throat> I think did make me unsure. But again, I was kind of so worried that I was like, oh, I should just, I, I went to hear him out at least. It was through Google Hangouts. Mm. Yeah. The, but it was a Google email. So I was like, okay, well, it's a bit weird because normally they would just, but then again, I've never had correspondence through Google because they're mm, yeah. so shit at talking to mm, you. Mm, yeah. I don't even know how they would reach out to me because yeah. they've done email in the past, but sometimes they haven't. So I don't really understand. I think that also is one of the reasons why a lot of people did fall for this because yeah. YouTube is so unclear and how they reach out yeah, to I you. Mean, I mean, the, the, only, the only time I've ever talked to Google directly is when through, I've, through Twitter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. when <laughs> I've spoken to them. I've yeah. never had someone reach out to me. That's, yeah, yeah, that's yeah. never happened. So I, so I'm talking to them and they're going through the thing and they're like, oh um, yeah, you have a duplicate AdSense account. And I'm like, that doesn't sound right. I don't have the duplicate AdSense account. Mm. And they're like, oh, well you do. And I'm like, okay, well, what's what's the ID on the AdSense account? Right. Because AdSense accounts have IDs. Yeah. And he gave me an ID and it was just like, not even remotely close, close. to any, mm. anything. Mm. And I was like, oh, um, okay, well, that's, that's weird. And I was like, um, can you tell me about the account then? Mm. What's what's the duplication? And then you oh. just couldn't tell me anything. Yeah. He was like, oh, it's all private. It's all private, which would, would kind of make sense, you know? Yeah. And I was like, okay, well, fine, fine. All right. Well, I was like, can you tell me that you're a Google employee? Can you show some proof? And he was like, no. And I was like, <laughs> because <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. And I was like, all right, well. Scooby Doo mask reveal. At this point, and then what he was trying to do, and he was, um, you can make multiple YouTube accounts under one email. Yeah. And so he told me to make a new YouTube account. 
Um, so I did this because mm. I was just curious to see what the steps he was telling me to do were. Mm. Yeah. Because I, I knew none of this was permanent and it doesn't really matter if you make a new account. Yeah. It doesn't like delete anything. Yeah. So he told me to make a new YouTube account and then go to the YouTube uh, account management page and then set have the new account that I made take over the old channel. Now what this does is that mm. it deletes all the videos. Right. And deletes everything. So it's basically like a factory reset. It kind of just puts like, it's just like this channel, it's like, and it's gonna plaster it on top. Yeah, like, yeah. yeah. Brand new, mm. nothing else was here before. Right. <laughs> That's kind of it. So it's a cover up, right? Yeah, <laughs> and then, you know, so, and it just deletes everything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then he was telling me to do that. And, and so I got to the point where I, I, I clicked on like the, I wanted to see what the menu was to do it. And I, I was going through steps and it was like, oh yeah, it'll delete, delete everything except for like likes and comments and stuff. Mm. And I was like, what the fuck, that's weird. Mm. But, uh, and, and, and then I was like, no, this doesn't seem right. This this seems a little weird. Mm. Yeah. And so uh, I was like, yeah, sorry, I'm gonna contact YouTube myself because I don't, I don't trust this at all. Mm. And so I closed the chat, I contact YouTube. I'm like, hey, is anything wrong with my accounts? You know, is uh, mm. everyone says it's gonna be deleted? He's like, no, that's all good. And I'm like, you're sure? This guy said it was, and he's like, no, no, it's all good. And I was <laughs> like, oh, okay then, I guess I'll carry on. And then I found out it was a big steal and, yeah. and, the, and multiple people had fallen for it. Yeah. 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 I mean, I think the problem was that you just, even if you wanted to ask an official person at YouTube, how well, who would you contact? Yeah, yeah. I, I had to I had to like do a web chat with someone at Google. Mm. How'd you do that? Oh, Is that can, possible? Yeah, yeah, you can do like a web chat. There are real employees at Google. I don't know if it's real. <laughs> I, 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 I'm, probably I'm just my, like the most advanced AI, AI bot you've ever yeah. seen. <laughs> sure. yeah. I think within their website, it's like, would you like to talk to someone? So it's like a pop up. It's, oh, it's, like a, it's one of those services. I was chatting right, to right, him right, right. on a uh, thing and then they would just ask information and stuff. And yeah, it was, it was actually surprisingly easy. Oh. But you know, that's, I think that was, that might've been just YouTube. I don't know. You know, I it's it's all a blur. That's the thing. That's the problem. It's, it's so, everything is so hidden in secrecy that if someone did come up to you and was like, this is who we are. We're Google, yeah. we're YouTube. You have a problem. Then like most people, like especially for the smaller YouTubers, they wouldn't know any better because they, yeah. they probably think to themselves, well, I guess, you know, I, no one's really told me how to contact Google. I guess this is how they contact you, right? Yeah. And that's probably why so many people fell for it. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, I, I, oh, sorry. Did you have something to say? No, no, that was it. Uh, yeah. Jim Browning fell for it and a few <laughs> yeah. other big names. Yeah. The spiffing, Brit, I think, fell for it as well. Lots of big YouTubers fell for it, yeah. I mean, it's, it's convincing. Yeah. Mm. I mean, I, I, I just remembered I almost fell for like a scam recently, actually, oh, yeah. um, because my friend's Facebook account got hacked. Right. And, Ooh. and, uh, yeah, and so his his account got hacked. And so the person who hacked his account was like really clever and sent like a mass message out. Yeah, I got it as well. Yeah, like oh, a yeah. mass message out to like, I think everyone, just everyone on his contacts list, mm. right? Just saying, hey, like, uh, I, re I'm, I really need a favor right now. Do you have a, do you have a minute, right? And if, if it was obviously a bot running it, because if you replied anything else, but, a, like a predetermined script, right? Mm. Then it would just like block you or it would like just close huh. the message or something like that. Right. So so a bunch of people, including Sydney, right? Because this is when it, I, I actually got the message while we were recording Trash Taste. Right. Um, yeah, and me too, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's why I didn't see the message, but right. Sydney saw the message and she was like, yeah, what's going on? And the message was like, be because it felt like a natural conversation because the bot had already predetermined it's like a certain conversation route that people could take. Mm. Um, it ended up being like, uh, it ended up, ended up being a conversation chain that says that where he said that he was locked out of his, um, I think I think like he was locked out or something, or he he needed to pay the rent today. Mm. Mm. And he, no, he was locked out of his bank account. Right. And he needed to pay rent. To Western Union. <laughs> <laughs> no. Only no. accepting Western Union. No, not Western Union, but um, he needed to pay his rent or he was gonna get kicked out or something. Yeah. And uh, he needed to transfer money to the, uh, to the uh, to his landlord, so mm -hmm. he was like, "Can you please transfer money to a certain bank account, and I'll cover it when I get my bank account back, right. and I'll pay you interest as well." Right. And like, so Sydney was phoning me afterwards, being like, "Yo, yo, yo, gone, gone. Have you have you seen the message, dude? Dude, he like Mike, Mike's in a lot of trouble. You gotta you gotta send money." And me, I was just like, "Okay," because it came from Sydney, and Sydney yeah. sounded so desperate, so I didn't even read the message. So I was like. Okay, I guess I guess I got to send the fucking money, right? So yeah. uh, so before I send the money, thankfully I checked I checked the message that my mate sent me, and by that point, thankfully, like I I remember seeing the message and then just suddenly it just disappeared and right. his his account got just got deleted. Yeah, it was like right. a because when I when I saw it like the Facebook was back to the default. I yeah, 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 yeah. That's weird. <laughs> huh. So like I was I was this close to just 
sending him money because he's a good mate. And sometimes, yeah. you know, you always got to get your mates back. Yeah, right? of course. And it was it was really fucking convincing because I saw the messages some other people got because unfortunately uh, we have a pretty good pretty big friend group and unfortunately two people ended up sending him sending him money oh no and i saw like the conversation chain it was genuinely int- uh, it was genuinely convincing because it wasn't just a one message thing it was right. a genuine conversation chain just a really well made bot right yeah yeah, yeah 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 it was a really well made bot and i'm just like jesus christ i mean i probably would have fallen for it as well cuz he's 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 a good man yeah, like, that's that's the thing right that's scary especially when it's coming from like a friend right yeah, like yeah. i don't know i feel in that situation like i think the best thing to do maybe is to like call them up Hmm. You know, just to like double check, right? Yeah, just be yeah. Like, yeah. Are, are you yeah sure? I, I, I think that's what. It's very hard to. It's 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 a little easier to fake a, a chat room than it yeah, is to yeah. fake a phone. And call, I, I you know? think I think if uh, if you know you did phone in before, mm. then then it would have been sorted out. But yeah. sometimes, you know, it was worded in a way where he just, he just needed it now. And, and yeah, and that's the yeah. scary thing, right? That's, 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 it's just getting better that, and better. That, that, that's probably where having a Japanese bank account would be an advantage because <laughs> you'd be like, sorry, sorry, man. I've got to like book an appointment <laughs> for tomorrow. Can, you, like, can you wait a week? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's the yeah. next open slot of my bank. Yeah. You know, the next quarter is in like three months. That's <laughs> honestly the best I can do. That's the best I can do. I can't get a statement until like three months yeah. from now, man. Like, I'm sorry, dude. you're gonna have to try sure, someone else. <laughs> Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry, man. I, I can't do internet banking transfer. Do you accept so. Western Union? I can, I can give you that. <laughs> anyway, enough about scams. I'm gonna hijack this podcast for a moment. <gasps> Turn it back into an anime podcast. Oh, what? <laughs> because I, I just, I, I, I need to. I just, I just need to. Okay. We don't watch. Right, I, what just, what I just, I just, I just, I, I just, just let me have this. Let me have this corner. Let me have this because I, uh, I know exactly what you're gonna talk about. <laughs> <laughs> of course you do. I don't. Of what course is- you do, Joey. So this weekend, I watched the new uh, Evangelion oh, movie. <laughs> <laughs> And I just- I, I How did ne- you not see this coming, Connor? He was literally tweeting about it all week. I, I need to talk about this because I can't. I, I need to move on with my this life. Man, this man's right? tweeted about it like he watched like 13 Reasons Why for the first time. <laughs> I'm it's glad like- I'm glad though you finally watched it because again, I, I watched it on the day it came out in the yeah. cinemas, which was like fucking six months ago or something. It was a really, yeah. really long time ago. And I was like, I want to talk about it so bad on the podcast, but these two haven't seen it. So I'm just gonna like, I'm just gonna bottle this emotion up and now I can finally pop the bottle. Yeah, like like I, I, talk I, about I, I watched it and I literally like cannot move on with my life. Yeah. Like I, I, I literally <laughs> like, like- it's, it's like witnessing the death of a family member, you know, oh, it's, like, it's like actually mortifying. I'm like, oh my God. So yeah, it's no good, more. Good or bad kind of death. Like it's... The, the weird cousin that you didn't really like. Okay, okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I don't know how to like, possibly convey the feeling I felt, but what I will say is that, I mean, like I shouldn't have just, I shouldn't have ever been a monk at all, right? <laughs> that was, that was like, that was a fucking, that was a fucking scam. Cause if I wanted to feel Zen, if I wanted to reach Nirvana, I should have, I should have just been an Ava fan, right? Cause I felt more Zen <laughs> after the end of Ava, after this end of Ava yeah. than I ever did Damn. as a monk. Was it, was it that good? It was. Uh, it's it's like it's uh, the type of movie that you can't just clean. What is this? Simple fucking Let me explain. question. It's the type of movie that you can't just clean up with the word good. Yeah. Or bad. Yeah. Because it's neither of those. It's just like that sounds like it's mediocre. I ch- no, no, it's it definitely is, not, it me- definitely if it's, if not it's, mediocre. If it's anything, it's not mediocre. Yeah. It, is the, it is the polar opposite of mediocre. Yeah, I saw the IMDb page. The reviews were kind of, you know- around All over the place? Yeah, 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 seven, eight. It was around about seven, eight. It's like, I think the only way I can describe that last movie is- Do you have to have a very IQ to understand Ava? <laughs> You have to what? Honestly, you kind of do, you kind of do actually. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm not even getting like. Yeah, you, that's why they called it three point. Uh, three point oh, one point, oh, point oh, which is like the know, most pretentious. It's, fucking yeah, it's, title. it's very difficult to figure <laughs> yeah. out that that's four. If you uh, can't perform that. rudimentary <laughs> mathematics, then you're yeah. just not all, even allowed. Because uh, you watched the original Ava when it got released on Netflix, right? I did, I did. What What was your opinions of the TV series at the time? Yeah, he he watched the TV series. Seven out of ten. <laughs> it was fine. I, you know, I, 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 I understand why everyone is so hyped about it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Did I you? Just, I, I, <laughs> could, I could see why you'd watch this and that you would remember this. Yeah. 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 But I didn't think it was that amazing. Right. Yeah. I think. I think that's like. I, I think that's the common. It, 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 it leaves an it, impression. Yeah. I, I think I'll say that much. Yeah. You yeah. know, and you can't. You know, it's this isn't like. 
the irregular high school, whatever the fuck that one is, <laughs> where you're like, you're like, I literally don't even know who you are, and I'm 20 episodes into this. Like, I don't, like there's I, four seasons of that shit as well. Yeah, really, I know. yeah. yeah. You know what I mean, I don't even know that. Yeah, I, 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 I like, you there's know, like a spinoff coming this season oh, as well, fuck. and it's like it's. Well, yeah, yeah, you know, it's one of those shows that definitely was like Did I it, understand entirely why this is iconic and yeah. everyone is in love with this. Yeah. I just personally wasn't that into it. Did you did you leave satisfied? No, not at all. Okay, good. Because yeah. because because I was like because that that was my experience. That was the worst part. Yeah, the yeah. ending. Oh, let yeah, me yeah. ask you then. Did you leave satisfied? Uh, with the original with no, 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 with four point oh. Oh fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck I, it. I, 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 the TV series. I, though. It's, it was shit. No, no, ending. no. The TV series left everyone unsatisfied. Of, of, I, I mean, so, I mean. Like I remember the we, first two times I watched Ava, I fucking hated it. Yeah, yeah. Michael, because the first time I watched it, I was twelve. Of course, I wasn't going. Of gonna, course, of yeah. course, I was not going to understand okay, Ava no, when I was twelve. And then I rewatched it. Not enough IQ. Yeah, enjoy. I, I rewatched it to review it as an anti-tuber. And then I was just like, this is even worse than I remember it. Because right, right. now, now I'm now i actually invested in the characters in the world and the mysteries that- You actually yeah. understand it sort of. It felt, yeah. like a, it felt like a slap in the face. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, someone who of course. spent yeah. all day watching yeah. it. I yeah. just, what did I end up with? Uh, applause and congratulations, that's it. Like, <laughs> yeah. cool, thanks. I was like, I was like, is this it? Yeah. Yeah. Is this it? It's like yeah. the show was mocking me being like, congratulations. You yeah. sat through all of this for nothing. This is yeah. it. So they could what, milk for like another 50 years out of this of movies? Hell yeah, dude. Is that it? Is that Literally, yeah. And then I, I know was five head in that. Yeah, shit. yeah, yeah. He, he was, was planning ahead. He was fucking five head. And, and then I remember, I remember going on the internet, fucking angry, and I'm just like, surely that can't be the ending. And then people were just like, Yo, have you heard of this movie called oh. End, End of, of Ava? End of Evangelion, <laughs> which I the end of it, which which oh. is, uh, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it is and end of Ava. Yeah. Uh, whether you are satisfied with that ending, is that like the alternative ending one. Yeah. It's alternative, but it's also canon. Yeah. So so <laughs> that makes sense. so kind of kind of the history behind the first two the the the, the TV series ending is that as you could probably tell, the uh, studio just kind of ran out of money yeah, and yeah. ran out of like budget. So they had to like piece together something, right? Yeah. Um, and so that was the ending that you saw. And so either like either fans were so unsatisfied that they sent Anno and the uh, company death threats or Anno himself was unsatisfied with the ending that he decided <laughs> to make- just put a bunch of clapping. Cool yeah. 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 Let's just, it's let's, art. Yeah, let's make, <laughs> let's make another ending yeah. to Ava. And that's the end of Evangelion. And people were just like, all right. I'm ready now. This is this is this is the ending that we never got. It's in Ava. the title and, of yeah, the movie. Yeah, it's called it, End it, of and Ava. And it's not even the ending, right? That's what I understand. It's a ending. Is it's, it like, it's, oh, it's, it's 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 definitely a ending, but it definitely doesn't leave you satisfied. Okay, so what's the one order of Evangelion? <laughs> what order? One. Are one? <laughs> no, no, no. So the TV show, then movies. Uh, yeah, so, I guess okay, so 1.0. Yeah. Uh, is basically the first, I'd say, fifteen episodes of the right. TV there's series. an abridged movie. Yeah, it's basically yeah. just like a, a Cliff Notes version of the TV series. And then 2.0, the first half of 2.0, it approaches the original ending of the TV series, but then goes on a different. Oh, that's fucking route. cheeky. That. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So he, he and, made, and this, this this aired in theaters. This yeah. aired yeah. in theaters. There's cheeky fucks. Yeah. Just made <laughs> made one third of a movie and called it a day. Pretty much, yeah. Oh my god. Maybe yeah. I should just make shit things and re-release them again in future and, call, and yeah. add, add another. The 20 so basically the, the second half of 2.0 uh, and you know, mind you, I don't fully remember everything cause it was a while since I watched it, but I I'm, do. I'm pretty sure. Pre uh, all right, go talk, on, talking man. to someone who literally knows every frame of the first movie because I fucking abridged it. <laughs> go on then, go on then. Talk so, about so like 1.0 is basically just almost a shot for shot recreation of like the first four or five episodes. And then- But with cleaner art, right? Yeah, with cleaner art mm. and uh, minor, minor, minor differences. And then 2.0 like is still like very, very very similar to like episodes, maybe like six to eighteen ish. For fuck's sake! Yeah, I mean it's it's it it goes. It has other differences. It introduces a new character, mm. which is the girl with glasses, Larry. and it has other like minor differences. But for the most part, it's pretty much the same. And then, I feel like introducing a whole new character is not the same. I mean, you it's the same until you introduce the character. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's the same until you introduce it. And then 3.0 and 4.0, which I'm going to go, with, which I'm going to call 4.0 because three yeah. plus one is four. It's, what is dumb? Called it that. It's dumb. Why? Yeah, Why it's, it is that? dumb. It is dumb. It's, it's an asshole uh, called Anno Hideaki. Yeah. That's her name. Fuck. That. Three, three, 3 and 4.0 are like completely different. So it's like almost like a- That's com completely original. Yeah, it's, it's, it's like the first time you, walk, you walked into Starbucks and realized it was not medium, small, and large. Yeah. Yeah. Why? 
Why did you do this? So which one's venti? Which one's that? What I don't is, know what's a venti? Wait, tall? I, I tall is medium? I still don't know what a fucking venti is. <laughs> I, I still don't understand. No, the, the part that fucked me up was like, tall is not large. Yeah, that, yeah, yeah, yeah. Tall is medium. Yeah. <laughs> tall is medium. I fucking hate this. Yeah. And I'm, I'm like, what is there is, like giant? I don't know. I, no, 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 I don't no, know, no. Tall is small. Tall is small. Grande is medium. Uh, yeah, no, no, yeah, no, yeah, no, yeah. Wait, is it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Grande is medium. This is why. Venti is large. This is why I just like the chart. I can see the price. That's how I decide. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Anyway, sorry, go on. Back to the 4.0. Back so, to the 4.0. Yeah, so yeah. anyway, so 3.0 and 4.0 are completely original. Yeah. Um, so I watched, so, okay, so I watched 3.0 on the day it came out in mm-hmm. cinemas. Mm-hmm. I was 16 when that came out. Okay. So it was literally 10 years ago and I only seen it once. Yeah. So imagine me going to the cinemas, day one airing of 4.0, right? Yeah. And I'm like, <laughs> and I was like, I got this. I, I still remember. You, you, you don't got this. I don't. I, I was like, I don't got this because yeah. the, literally the first five minutes of 4.0, it does a recap. And I'm like, oh, thank God. That's great because there's a 10 year gap, right? Yeah. So it goes through like super fast, like super artistic way of just being like, here's what happened in 1.0. Here's what happened in 2.0. Here's what happened in 3.0. Goes through 1.0. I'm like, okay, yeah, this is just the TV series. I've seen yeah. TV series many times. Got it in the bag. Yeah. 2.0, I was like, okay, yep, yeah, still the TV series, but introduced the new character. All right, cool. Yeah. 3.0, I'm just like, I don't remember any of that shit. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck is going on? And then yeah. 4.0 just begins. And I was yeah. like, cool. <laughs> so I'm literally going into this movie with maybe about a 5% understanding of what has happened so it's, far. It's, it's, it's all good, man, because I don't think that would have helped you at all. <laughs> Um, because I, the reason I didn't, I did, I chose not to see it in cinemas, right? Yeah. Was because obviously it wasn't subbed; it was in Japanese. Of and course. With a series like Ava, I wanted to at least try to understand what was going yeah. on. Yeah. Because I, I did, I did remember what happened in three So I was like, I remember most of the plot points, so mm. I'll be able to follow along for easily. Mm. Um. So finally, I waited for it to come out, mm-hmm. and I was just like, I should have just seen this in theaters because <laughs> I have as much of an understanding of what's going on in my own language than I do in a fucking other language <laughs> that I'm like barely understanding. Four point oh for me. 4.0 was like, all right, cool. That's a line I understood what they were saying. I think I'm starting to get it. And then literally the next line, I'm like, I don't understand what's going on. <laughs> and I'm like, this is a language I am fluent. This is my first language that they're speaking in. It sounds like a different language. There's just so much terminology being thrown around, which yeah. I'm sure there was some kind of explanation of probably in 3.0. Yeah. But of course I have a 10 year gap with 3.0. Yeah. Obviously I don't remember so that the shit. The definitive way to watch it is to watch three and immediately, immediately start four. <laughs> Probably. I, I, I don't think it even matters because I, I doubt- remember I, 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 I doubt a lot of people are gonna be able to follow along in their first watch through anyway, no. because so much terminology gets fucking thrown around and yeah. just gets like pulled out of his ass. Like, I, like so, some some of the scenes I'm just like, I know, I don't know if you're a genius or a madman. Like- <laughs> Oh yeah. And then here's the more fucked up thing that I realized <laughs> if there's anything I got out of 4.0, it's the yeah. fact that there is literally information in 4.0 you will have no idea what the fuck it is unless you read the manga. Yeah, yeah. I, it's I like, Arno literally took every iteration. It was like, it took bits from the TV series. It took bits from End of Ava. It took a li- even little bits from Death and Rebirth mm. yeah. and the manga and just combined it all together. So it's like, Wait, what if is you're missing- Death miss- and Rebirth? That's the other movie. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, it's, it's, it's just basically a recap movie. Oh, yeah, it's a recap movie, but, but there's like small yeah. minor details in Death and Rebirth that are only specific to Death and Rebirth. But like I've like for someone like you, I, I wouldn't even recommend watching- I'm exhausted yeah. hearing yeah. it. You don't have to watch Death and Rebirth. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean- I've watched two, three, and four. Yeah, I mean, if-, if And, if, and if, End of Ava. If, if you feel like it, because- <laughs> really, I try really to watch End of Ava. Uh, I mean, end of Ava. No, is, you you do uh, like if if you wanted to get to get into end of a uh, in, get into Evangelion as a franchise, then yeah, you need to watch End of Ava. Yeah. But like, I mean, it, it depends on it depends on what you're looking for. Because if you're just looking for like a normal TV series, a normal story to get like entertained so much so where you know you're, you're looking for like a normal plot arc you're looking for mysteries to be solved that's just not going to happen as yeah. you've just experienced once i think what's so special about ava is that it's a series that's just so powerful that if you kind of relate to what Anno was trying to portray on screen, like you, you said yourself, you could tell why a lot of people thought this, like a lot of people saw this as like a really powerful series that affected them, right? Yeah. And it's just cause it, it is just that raw and powerful because Ava, to me, Ava, like I didn't get Ava the first few times I watched it. Like I said, I was like, I fucking hated it. Yeah. And then like I reached later, I, late, I reached a period in life later where I started to like fucking resonate more with what was being portrayed on screen. I wouldn't say I, 
understood the entire plot, but I don't think that's the point of Ava. I don't think the point of Ava is to understand the plot. Yeah. I don't think the point of Ava is to like, you know, you, you can't just look at the shiny robots fighting the big monsters mm. if you want. But I, th I think I think the true magic of Ava was just Anno pouring his heart out on screen mm. and capturing like, it's kind of like capturing his psyche in a sense. Yeah. Mm. And that's why it's like, that's why you can view it and this and you can just be like, I don't get it. This I'm, is a complete yeah. fuck mind fuck, <laughs> which it is. It is an absolute I, yeah, mind Yeah, I fuck. truly think, especially with 4.0, I truly think the only person on the planet who can fully understand 4.0 and all of Ava is Anna. Yeah, there's because people, there's probably people working on the movie. They're like, no, so what is it? I, I guarantee. Because, <laughs> I guarantee. Yeah, because yeah. 4.0, I feel, especially 4.0, is like a true. Not only is it like a true love letter to Ava, but yeah. there's so much stuff that Arno just crammed into it that really has nothing to do with Ava. It's literally like he just threw it in because he likes it. Yeah, and I feel that's what Ava is. It's it's <laughs> like it's literally a series that Arno was like, I like robots, I like monsters, I like kaiju fights, I love all of this shit that I personally enjoy. Mm. I'm yeah. gonna cram this shit into one series, and that's Ava. Yeah, because like you like you like BoJack, right? Yeah, I still haven't watched the last season. I'm too scared. Yeah, because yeah. I I feel like BoJack is probably the closest kind of like closest big American show that I can compare to Ava because both deal with Bojack like- Bojack is the Ava of cartoons. The, it is. <laughs> get in the robot, Bojack. I mean, it, it is kind of, it's, it's such a weird comparison, but that, that is- Bojack is Shinji. But yeah, <laughs> it's- <laughs> yeah. I mean, Bojack, Bojack was like, I, I guess Bojack was very clear in what it was trying to portray. Right. Yeah. I guess I was slightly confused many times during Eva. I'm like, yeah. am I supposed to feel Sorry for Shinji. Well, that's, no, that's that's an that, that's an entire character no, study in and of itself. Yeah, because yeah. I both are the kind of same with what they try to tackle. They try to tackle broken characters mm. trying to just find value in, in themselves and just live with themselves, mm. right? That's 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 what both series try to do. Bojack has a much more structured, you know, much more structured story, much more defined character arcs. And it's just easier to follow and less they, technical bullshit. Well, I felt like you know you in Bojack you got to like see why he was so fucked up. Mm. And I felt like in Evangelion, we didn't really learn much about Shinji. And I he mean, was just I whining. I definitely feel like, I, de I mean, I think the finer details are there if for people who want to look into it deeper, but yeah. I feel especially the movies do a really good job in portraying Shinji mm. as this like broken kid. Yeah, because I mean, he's a 14 year old kid who has like massive daddy issues because his dad's an absolute fucking asshole. Yeah. Never grew up with his mom. Um, is forced to pilot a fucking giant robot at the age of 14 and has to I save the world. I don't know why he's yeah. sad about this. This is amazing. <laughs> I, I, oh, I mean, normally would have killed yeah. I mean, for the I mean, I'm not gonna, obviously not gonna say any spoils for 4.0, but uh, yeah. especially in 4.0, his dad is fucked. Yeah, he, he, <laughs> his, his, like, I didn't think his dad could get even more fucked. Yeah. Oh my 4. God. 4.0, it's like, it, yeah. it goes from like one to a hundred. I'm yeah. like, you cannot be serious. Yeah, but I, I think like the, the reason Ava is such an important series to so many yeah. people, including myself, mm. is that it just hits these emotional notes that I've just never seen in any other piece of media. And I just, I think that's because Anno didn't give a shit about, uh, Anno didn't give a shit about telling a, you know, a story that was easy to follow. He just wanted to like, put something out there. He just mm. wanted to put his emotions into something. And that's yeah. what I feel from him. And that's why it's so like to so many people, this is such an important thing because it's it's rare that you see something that isn't like, that isn't so well defined, but that you can relate to on an, in an emotional sense. It's, and it's like, it's almost not storytelling. Like Arno's not really storytelling as he is almost just emoting. I, 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 I really can't describe Ava without sounding like that pretentious <laughs> Right, you know, you know, because yeah. because I, I hear myself and I'm just like, it's kind of just art, you know. Yeah. Because well, it's, you it's, know, I mean, what a uh, wanker! Yeah, well, <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's one of those things where I I think I definitely with TV shows and media, mm. uh, as opposed to traditional art, yeah, I I very much prefer it when they essentially tell me tell what you, they're yeah. trying yeah, to get across. Yeah, of course. This is like, you know, and as much as you could argue, oh, okay, well, that's that's for dumb people and whatnot. And it's like also like, well, you know, I feel that. If it is art, I, I suppose it can be, but then also sometimes it isn't marketed as such. Mm. Yeah, You know, like when you look at a, a painting, there's no doubt in your mind that it's art and you can interpret it however you want yeah. and you, yeah. you get whatever you want out of it. But I think with TV shows, because it's such a different medium, mm. it's, you know, what is art supposed to be when it's 
TV and film. But yeah. I, I would um, argue that some of the best shows are the ones that can present an artistic idea in an artistic way, yeah, but way make that, it yeah. simple yeah. enough for anyone to enjoy, right? Yeah. right? Like I feel that's like really just good storytelling. Well, that's why I think Bojack Horseman is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bojack I agree. Horseman. I felt like it, it, it delivered a topic that I think a lot of people and a lot of older mm. people yeah. don't really think about or uh, care don't about. talk about. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 And mm. I, I think like, I, I'm, I'm not, bringing down Bojack, because I also think it's an amazing fucking mm. show. Mm. Um, I just think like Evangelion was, is so unique because, you know, if there's one thing that doesn't make fucking sense or you can't logically always follow, it's emotions, right? Mm. Sometimes you just feel something and you're just like, why the fuck Why the fuck do I feel this? Like, I, sh I logically don't know why I feel this and I shouldn't feel this. And yeah. like, and like, that's what Ava portrays so well. It's not meant to be logical in a lot of senses, but sometimes you just see something. And I'm just like, I don't know why I, kind of relate to this, but mm. I just do. I don't know why I resonate with this, but I just do. And it's that's that's been my experience with Ava. Mm. And I guess the biggest thing that I never got from Ava was the satisfying conclusion of like closure. Like this is it. An yeah. actual this is, ending. Like this is this is it, <laughs> right? Yeah. I am satisfied because you know, we, we. I kind of, you know, as an Ava fan, you, find, you found your own fucking closure. You watched End mm. of Ava and you're like, what the fuck did I just watch? I, I need someone, sometimes yeah. you need someone to help you process mm. what you just watched. And then, like, you know, that sometimes you spend hours reading up analysis and reading up this and reading up that. And you just like- and End of Ava is one of those movies where like you watch it and you go, that was awesome. But then the moment your brain actually kicks in and goes, but do you know what it was about? <laughs> That's the moment. <laughs> yeah. That's the moment where you have like the existential dread. Like, what? What? wait, what? maybe it wasn't good. <laughs> Fuck. Why, why do you think I, I didn't enjoy or connect with Evangelion? Do you reckon this is why? I why? feel maybe it's because you were kind of overhyped from maybe like the so? outside. I, I think like I, th well, I think do, maybe do, do, like what, what, what were your expectations coming in? Yeah, <sighs> something deep. Maybe that's yeah. what it is, right? You know, because Ava is impactful. like, Ava, Ava is simultaneously the deepest thing, but also at the same time, something that doesn't make any fucking sense. Yeah, I mean, it's not something you watch to per se enjoy mm. because I, I remember like the, the only times I've actually like, I actually kind of, understood Ava really depended on, depended on what mindset I was in. I couldn't just- Yeah, I, I thought I was under the impression that it was gonna be some form of interesting take on like being a teenager and struggling with mental health issues. Yeah. It was, I mean, to it, a certain point. Yeah. I mean, it, it, it is, it's just not told in a way that is just traditional. Mm. You know, yeah, it's, it's yeah. told in a very raw, it's, it's told in a very raw way where yeah. it's just, it's, it, they don't care about you following the story. They just wanted to like put these raw thoughts and raw emotions, put it mm. on screen and then just like, just put it out there. Mm. That's, yeah. that's what I, that's what I got from it, which is why like the, the time that I connected with Ava the most just happened to be the point when I was in the, worst point in my life yeah, and yeah. you know it's it's just it's just it's just something where it's not something i think people should watch to enjoy i think people should watch it to experience it and maybe you didn't enjoy this time i didn't enjoy it the first time i watched yeah, it but maybe there would be a point when you just like where some of the words or something from it rang out to you and just like Maybe this is God, the time. Are you saying that Ava is an acquired taste? <laughs> <laughs> no, Joey, stop putting words in my mouth. <laughs> and what I, what I will say about End of Ava, I'm not uh, Ava 4.0 without spoiling what happens, because I'm not, I'm not gonna spoil that experience. The only thing I will kind of say is that it is, it is a conclusive, Full stop. Yeah, and I remember yeah. because growing up, I can't like I, I don't know how to convey to you what it's like growing up with a franchise and being like this is good. This franchise is going to be around forever. Mm. There is never going to be an end for this franchise. And you kind of make peace with that, right? Yeah. Because I remember when the movie got released, I think I remember we were memeing up to be like, oh, I can't wait for 5.0 yeah. in like 20 years. Can't wait for, I know to like dig up the grave of Ava. And I remember like, I, I talked to plenty of Japanese people who were just like, no, this is, this is the end. I was like, sure. Sure. Yeah. Joey goes sees it. Nabi goes sees it, and they're like, "This is the end." I'm like, "Sure." sure. <laughs> All right. Bet. bet. It's, it's literally a you won't believe it until <laughs> yeah, you see yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it is. It is. And I'll, then I'll I'll watch the movies. I mean, I mean, I, you you can choose. I, I like. I, I'm not like. I have like. I've decided. I'm going to watch. Them. You're gonna watch you have, them. You have I'm decided. Where do I watch the movie? Where? Yeah. I think all four movies are on uh, Prime Video. Yeah, Netflix oh, and all of End of Ava, uh, all of Eve Evangelion, the original series is on Netflix and all of the movies are on Prime Video. So right. they're yeah. easy to access. I'm actually planning to do like a watch party of all four of the movies just yeah. because like, why not? Cause like, again, I've only seen 3.0 and 4.0 yeah. once and I'm like- What, like on stream? Yeah, on stream. Oh, would you press play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Cause like Twitch has a thing for I, that I now. I might do that. Okay, yeah. is there a thing for that now? Yeah, yeah, there's a thing for that now. Wait, what? Like a, like a watch party function. 
Oh. So so basically, it's like the Twitch thing. It, I think it's, this is a relatively new thing, but basically when you do a watch party together now, when you go to that person's Twitch page, the person the, the person streaming is actually in the corner now and you get prompted to log into your Prime Video or Netflix. Oh shit. And it oh like, and it, and it syncs up, yeah. Dude. And it's like a brand new thing now. Yeah, my Twitch I'm, partner- I might stream now. Bro, yeah, the, I might, no, yeah. no fucking That's a game yeah. changer. Holy, I, I can fuck. walk and watch Netflix? Yeah, so, so my Twitch partner was like, oh, since all the Ava movies are on Prime Video and Twitch has this new thing now, you can easily do a watch party. I'm like, yeah. oh fuck yeah, dude, let's Pesos do it. He owns that too. Yeah. He owns all of these. Oh yeah. my God. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That did, of course, on Amazon Prime. So now you can, that's, that now, 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 now you now, now you can cry on stream. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, or, or get very well, honestly, confused. <laughs> okay, so I, I got to ask you, what was your reaction when I when? Up. All right. Well, what? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Obviously, no spoilers in this. No, no episode, I just want to know what your. I just want to know what your reaction was yes, when, your reaction. when when the credits started. Rolling. When the credits started yeah. rolling. I'm, I'm sorry, Connor. I just I just no, need, no, no, I just no, need no, to no, gush. No, no. I just Go need ahead. to gush. I've yeah. literally yeah. never. I I think that might be the first time in my life where the term dumbfounded <laughs> is like actually eligible because yeah. like I think if you had if I had seen myself in yeah. the cinemas right I probably would have made a face like. For, for the entire credits. Yeah. Just because I, cause my brain, I don't think could process <laughs> what the fuck I just watched. <laughs> yeah. And like, and because I went to go see it with uh, Ken, Ken yeah. Arto, who was on the show. Right. Um, and uh, he was obviously, you know, during the credit sequence, he was just like, oh, I know that animator. I know that animator. <laughs> Me uh, meanwhile, like what Ken was saying was just going in one ear and out the other. Yeah, because yeah, I was yeah. like, Ken, don't give me more information. I'm, I'm still trying to process everything I literally just watched. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Like it was, I think the best way to describe 4.0 for me was, it was very bittersweet. Yeah. Because it's like you, it's, it's not until really those credits end and you walk out of the cinemas yeah. that you realize, oh, this is really it. Yeah. Like, I'm, th there isn't going to be another movie anymore. Yeah. yeah. I mean, maybe there will be. Maybe, maybe, the maybe, there will, but maybe this, there'll be a spin off or something. This story I don't know. has ended. Yeah, this right? movie franchise has ended. Like something I fucking grew up with my whole life. Yeah. And like, I don't know. I was like, is this how I'm going to feel when like One Piece ends? Or oh, like, I, that's I, how I felt when uh, Arthur got canceled. Right? <laughs> I, I, I don't. I don't even want. I can't believe they canceled Arthur. Yeah. Arthur or like, got canceled. Arthur got canceled. Arthur got canceled. Arthur got canceled. When? Like, like right after the episode where I said, Arthur will never be canceled. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it literally got canceled. Oh my God. I, I just assumed Arthur was gonna be there when I had like yeah, grown right. children. Yeah. yeah. Fuck man. Yeah, so like, Sorry. I don't know. Like I feel this is how, because I've obviously never experienced like a show I grew up with, like a yeah. big, big franchise like that to just end in my mm -hmm. lifetime, right? Like yeah. I feel this is how it's gonna be when like One Piece or like Jojo or like- I don't even want to imagine when One Piece and Jojo- ends Yeah, right? Like, like I feel fuck. that emotion that I felt at the end of 4.0 is yeah. how I'm going to feel. And it's uh, it's not a great feeling. <laughs> it, it was like, cause cause it's rare in life now that I watch something and I feel something I've never felt before, yeah. which is which is exactly what I felt. Cause yeah. it, this is something I grew up with, something I always <laughs> thought would be there, right? Yeah. And then it's just, it's just like, it's just over. It and really does feel like, like a family pet has just died. Yeah, yeah. You know, it's like, it's something that <laughs> it really is. It's like, that's, I, I'm, 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 it, it's honestly, it's that <gasps> same emotion. Honestly, I, I started fucking bawling, man. Cause yeah. like, here's the thing, here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I wasn't even hyped for 4.0, yeah. right? Cause like fucking nine years had passed since the, fast since the last film and I'm just like, I'm I'm just like, whatever, it's out. I will, I'll watch it out of obligation. Yeah. I love Ava, but I don't, I could go my entire life without watching another Evangelion movie and mm. I would have been completely satisfied. So I watched it literally out of obligation. Yeah. And then like, I think the last half hour hit and I'm just like, oh my God, what is this I'm feeling right now? Yeah. Is this is this a feeling of closure? Am I, am I closing a page in my life right now? I'm just like, what is, what is this feeling? And then the end credits felt like the end credits started rolling and I just process is the right word. Cause there are so many emotions coming up at once that yeah. I just, I didn't know how to process them all. Yeah. And you just felt empty and you just, just felt like, I, I, I felt like a void, a fucking void in my life. <laughs> and I'm just like, <laughs> There is what? nothing that's gonna fill this hole up that, anymore. There, there, I, yeah. that, that's why I need to talk about it. Yeah. That's why I'm so desperate to because because, because I remember as well like when the when the first posters for 4.0 got mm, released yeah. in Japan, the tagline for it was Sayonara Evangelion, which means goodbye Evangelion. Yeah. And I was like, okay, that's kind of a cool, very yeah. you know yeah, like yeah. <laughs> very like artistic like uh, Ava yeah. kind of tagline. I didn't think anything of it, right? Yeah. But then when they said that line in the movie at that uh, at a yeah. particular scene, I was yeah. like. 
No. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do this to me, man. Don't leave me. <laughs> I'm sorry. I should have like, treated you like, better. I should have treated you better. I should have treated you more more right. Don't leave me. Not now. And like that was the moment where I was like, yeah. oh, okay. Like this, th- that this is- point I think really solidified to me how important this series was yeah, to me. I, I'd forgotten it was until until yeah. that moment. And like I've been doing ever since I've ever since that movie, I could I've not been able to watch anything else. I've not been able to like play any games because yeah. I, I just feel like that emptiness. You literally like, can't. You literally can't consume any other media for at least a week. Yeah, because like I try to, and I'm just like, this, this ain't, this ain't Ava. This is, this ain't, this ain't Ava. Well, what's, what's the point? Try, I'm really scared to rewatch it. Yeah, I tried, tried playing a game of League, lost. And I'm just like, don't care. Whatever. whatever. <laughs> is that how it's felt the ending? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just like, I'm just like, not, nothing's gonna fill this. It's boy. like that moment after you come, you just don't feel anything. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> you just, you just sit there like. Just what I'm saying, man. No like, emotion. I, I, I think I've just reached Zen. Yeah. Like I, I, I feel like I've reached, I've reached enlightenment. Like, I'm like, fuck being a monk, man. Like, uh, this is—is is this what it feels like? You just, you just like, you just like an open book, and you just like, yeah. I've, I finally. Who would have thought I could become a monk with a six ninety nine yeah. membership? I'm finally at peace with my life, and now I'm, I just, I just wanted to get yeah. that out of there. So I'm, I just want to move on yeah. with my life. Now. So, so for anyone watching this who's never seen Ava, yeah. we're not, we're not coming on to here saying that we recommend you to watch Ava. Yeah. Because it's, it's hard to recommend something. It's, like like it's that. hard to recommend now because you're not going to have the same experience that mm. we had, where you just like, no. we, where you grew up with this. Yeah. So so, and you know, like I said, it's it. If you're someone who's going in a tough time in your life, then I honestly recommend you experience it because maybe it will teach you something mm-hmm. about yourself. I did. I was going to say, I was like, do you, you know, if you haven't had any struggles with mental health, is it hard to appreciate stuff I like th- that? I think so. I think so. Because like, I uh, because like after I watched Ava, I've like I've just been binge watching so many like Ava analysis but like <laughs> videos, which is which is, <laughs> which is like my, which is like my I guess like my way of coping. I think and I think Ken and I had about a six hour conversation and it is a Kaya <laughs> about just the movie we just watched yeah. the entire time. Yeah, yeah. and I, th- I think the uh, video that that I like related to the most mm. in terms of what I felt when I watched the first time was a uh, scam- was, was Ava bridged. No, no, no. Uh, <laughs> Sc- Scamboli like Scamboli review did a video called You Don't Understand Ava. Oh, right? yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah, in, yeah. in like in mm. like sarcastic text, yeah. you know, where uh where he basically broke down why Ava is like basically a really badly told plot and yeah. really mm. like like he, he he basically broke it down in a way where I completely agreed with him. Oh, yeah. I, I would have completely agreed with him because that was basically that was basically what I was trying to say when I had watched the first time. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just didn't resonate or relate to anything that was trying no, to be said. No, me neither. I, mm. I, 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 you know, I didn't really feel sorry for Shinji at all. I yeah. felt like I was supposed to. Yeah. But yeah. I was like- I That's know. the thing. The emotions were there, I mean, but the execution was not yeah, there. I mean, like, I, I don't think like you were even supposed to feel sorry for him, right? Because- mm, I don't know. Yeah, exactly. I, like e- either you do feel sorry for him or you don't. Mm. Like a lot of people would do because a lot of people relate to that kind of mental space, right? Mm. And that, they can resonate with that. Mm. But like the series doesn't, explicitly tell you, you should feel sorry for this person. This yeah. person is this, you, it's just, that's 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 kind of like, that's kind of like the thing that maybe like, not, not everyone will enjoy Ava. Not everyone yeah. should enjoy Ava. I mean, I, I, I wouldn't recommend it to someone in a very me- a healthy mental state because one, you probably wouldn't get it. And two, I wouldn't wish for you to be in a bad mental state to begin with yeah. to like get it, right? Yeah. But uh, I, I mean, you know, Bojack I thought was, great because I I wasn't depressed watching it, but I certainly was after. Oh yeah. <laughs> but I mean like things like Bojack and like, you know, we, we related Ava to Bojack, but I think yeah. like something like Oyasumi Poon Poon is probably closer in terms of like actually, you know, presenting a very sad story in yeah. a way that can get anyone of any mental state in, yeah. you know, invested in mm. the story of Bojack, right? Well, like, you know, Bojack in, in that case was told in a very like straightforward, like, Here's yeah. the thing that's fucked up. You know, this is why you should feel sorry. And for most people, they felt sorry. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah, easily presented. But like, <laughs> I feel Ava in that sense is almost so vague with what you what they want the viewer to feel. Yeah. To the point where it's like, here are the emotions that you should be feeling, but we're yeah. not going to tell you to feel those emotions specifically. Mm-hmm. That's up to you to decide. Yeah, you know, kind of thing. Like I, I, I don't trust anyone who says they understand Ava. Like no. <laughs> like you, you can, you can spend all like. 
Well, it just sounds like you can have an, an interpretation of Ava. You can have an interpretation. Oh, there's of many, Ava. many yeah, well, interpretations. Yeah, like but, but, to, but to claim yeah. to understand Ava, I feel like it's just I, I don't I don't I honestly don't think it's possible. And I'm sure there are some Ava fans that are out there that are just like I can't believe yeah. he said that. Um, actually, <laughs> <laughs> but like I've I've like spent so many fucking hours watching different people analyze it, different mm. people's interpretation. But like there are so many different interpretations of the series to begin with that <laughs> it, I, I just think that's that's. That's the thing, right? There's a reason why we are still discussing it to this day, 26 yeah. years later. Yeah. And I think it'll, it'll always be discussed. I, I, rem I remember it was a couple of years ago, I think like uh, when, when it, we were still in the rush of all these people, you know, just analyzing every single piece of imagery from the TV series, right? Yeah. And mm. one that got discussed a lot was when the angels explode, they create an explosion that looks like a cross. Yeah. And there was so, I watched so many analysis videos being like, this is why Arno chose the cross and why it's super symbolic and blah, 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 blah. And then a couple of years later, they came out with an interview with Arno and they were asking, so uh, is there any reason why when the angels explodes, it turns into a cross? And he literally just said, I just think it looks cool. <laughs> it doesn't mean anything. <laughs> and and all, all the anime YouTubers were like, we spent all this time analyzing something <laughs> that he just put in because it looked cool. <laughs> I mean, and like, and, and I feel like that alone to me really showed the fact that Arno doesn't think this shit is deep. He just put it in also, because it's cool. Also, if you're saying that you didn't have time or money to make mm. a proper ending, yeah. yeah, what's the odds that he had the time to be able to be like, no, 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 change the explosion to a cross. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like this, this is why you should do yeah, this because yeah, yeah. it's symbolic to the story. No, because, yeah, Arno, because it's just, budget, so it's just a love show. letter to all the shit that Arno likes. He's like, I think the cross looks cool. Just yeah. add that shit in, yeah. Yeah, I mean, at the same time, I would say that maybe he didn't make a conscious choice. He put stuff in just because it felt right. And yeah. It looked right. And it created a certain tone, a certain mood, whatever. Especially in four and you can, you can analyze that, but to say that everything had a purpose and yeah. everything was put there for a reason, I mm. think, I think no, no, not everything in no. Ava. I, I don't think Anno knew everything that he knew what he wanted to say in I Ava. I feel especially in 4.0 as well. There was so much shit in there. I'm like, that doesn't make any sense. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't, that, why is that there? Oh, yeah. fuck it. You know what? It's Anno, just let him do what he wants to do. Yeah. Yeah. But I guess like moving on from like Ava as a franchise, mm. you, we can, we can, we, 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 can, we, can, we can like tag you back in now, Connor. We can, we can tag you back in. <laughs> like, has there been any other like points or like series or franchise where you've kind of like grown up with that franchise and, mm. and, and you've had like, you've seen the franchise come back years and years later and you it's, you view it differently as an adult as opposed to when you saw it as a kid. Oh, Cause geez. I remember the first time it happened to me mm. was I remember the, when Toy Story 3 got released. I was literally thinking Toy Story when you said that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I feel that's the only thing that's like stuck around. Right. Yeah. I think there's been two. It's been Toy Story 3 and American Pie Reunion. Right. <laughs> <laughs> What? Huh? What? There's I can't a, relate what? to the latter, unfortunately. Yeah, I, I, I think American Pie was like, cause like when American, when, when American Pie one and two got released, it was fucking massive during, mm. not even like my generations, but I think like I've only saw American Pie because it was like my older cousin's generation. And yeah. they would like put it on TV. And I'm just like, yo, there's, there's, there's fucking boobs on, on, on TV. What the, <laughs> what the fuck's going on here? Like, like, like is, is that, is that am, am I allowed to be here? Imagine that came out today. Yeah, oh, I know. Yeah. Oh my God. But oh my God. I, I remember, I remember watching like, cause that's how I experienced American Pie one and two. And it was fucking massive. And then seeing American Pie reunion and just seeing everyone as just like responsible adults and just like <laughs> being adult, like having- Is that what that's about? Have, yeah, having like children. Like, cause, cause they, they, oh they, they have a high school reunion and yeah. you just see these characters and they're one, they're like a lot older. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. And people have jobs and they have children. And I'm just like, what the fuck is this? What the, what's, what's, what's happened to my childhood? No, no, no. You, it's, like, it's like a real high school reunion, you, you isn't see, it? You see that everyone's still in uni, right? Yeah. Everyone's still getting, still getting pissed and oh, partying, right? Nah. I'm pretty sure I saw uh, his dad. Do you know his dad in American Pie? Yeah. yeah. The one who's in every movie. Yeah. Yeah. Pretty sure I just saw him in Canada when I was on like the ski lift. I'm really? pretty sure I sat next to him. I'm near certain I did. <laughs> he spoke to me as well and he yeah. had the exact same voice, but I couldn't exactly see his face. He's wearing ski stuff, right, right, right. but he looked like it. And I was like, I think this is him. <laughs> You should have just been like, are you the dad from I American Pie? Ask him, I, yeah. was like, I wasn't sure. And yeah. imagine if he wasn't, he'd be like, yeah. what the fuck is that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Well, no, then you could have spun him being like, you sound just like him. I'm near sh certain it's him, but I was like 14. So I didn't want to. Oh, right, right, I was, right, like, right. I was like, I swear, I swear it's fucking you. How do you remember that shit? Cause I literally, you just reminded me. And I remember getting off the ski lift and thinking like, <clears throat> So the guy from Did you see like these fucking bushy yeah. ass eyebrows? Yeah. Like, of course, that's the I, I, that's the one thing I remember. Did, like, it's the, the bushy ass eyebrows. factor. Exactly. Yeah, 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 same skin tone. The voice was like spot on. Yeah, yeah, I was yeah. like, what the fuck? Is this him? 
Him, no, know. but like, uh, yeah, toy, well, I mean, toy, have you seen all the Toy Stories? I haven't seen Toy Story 4. Good. I was, I was like, Toy Story 3. Don't. Uh, toy Story 3 was my Ava 4.0. Oh, yeah. You know, where, 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 <laughs> where, 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 what? No, 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 where, where I watched it and I'm just like, that was a nice send off to Toy yeah, Story. Yeah. And then they made a fourth one. And yeah, I'm just like, don't, this shit. don't bother with <laughs> the fourth like one. Three? I didn't really like three. I, I didn't like it so much. I, I, I liked, I like, it felt special to me because it felt like, you know, I was mm. saying the goodbye. End of an era, the end of Toy <laughs> Story. The end of Toy Story. <laughs> end of Toy Story. <laughs> 3.0. <laughs> Death and rebirth. <laughs> 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 no, but just like seeing Andy grow up and seeing, um, yeah, sorry, I guess. yeah. I mean, I mean, we need like a Toy Story like one <laughs> Yeah. What is, what is the plot of Toy Story four? Why is there? They go so, to like the circus. I don't even. I've, I haven't even watched it. I so I saw Toy Story four in cinemas. <laughs> oh, because yeah. it was available. I went to go see it with Aki just because we were like, we want to go to the cinemas. What's playing right now? Oh, Toy Story four is there. All right, let's go watch it. Because at that point, I hadn't heard anything about it. So it's I went Keanu to go Reeves, see it. it. Yeah, it uh, it fucking sucks. It really su does suck. I mean, the movie is decent, but literally the last fifteen minutes of that movie mm -hmm. not only well, ruined the movie, but just completely ruin the entirety of the Toy Story franchise. Yeah, I heard it broke a lot of the rules and also it kind of like ruined Woody's character. Yeah, bit, it, it completely destroyed every character and it just ends off with like this. Well, Woody's on the road now. But I'm also not that invested in the cast of Toy Story. So if, you know, if Buzz commits war crimes, I'm not really going to care that much. I'm just going to be <laughs> like, all right, well, I mean, he shouldn't have bombed that But place, I mean, like, okay. at, at, least, at least Toy Story 3, right? Obviously not going to spoilers, but at least Toy Story 3. <laughs> I think you can spoil Toy Story 3. Really? I think, I, I think it's okay to spoil. I don't know. There might be people like, I can't oh, believe not, you. This is not a four point. You can spoil Toy Story. <laughs> I can't Toy believe Story. they ruined the ending of Toy Story you 3 for me. You can spoil Toy Story 3. All right, well, okay. Well, like with Toy Story 3, right? Like, you know, that scene where Woody's like, so long partner, like that yeah. scene. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like that was like really that fucking nice. Good. Like that, yeah, made, yeah. that made me tear up a little bit. Not I gonna just lie. didn't like the fuzz bear, uh, the Care Bear villain. I just did, I, I was like- Well, I mean, at least it didn't last, right? Yeah, I guess so. It, it didn't last. <laughs> I think the scene that stuck out to me was with Toy Story 3, if we're getting into spoiler territory The incinerator now, scene? Yeah, the incinerator yeah, oh, scene. Oh yeah, of course. Yeah. Oh, shit. What? I hated that scene. What? What? It just dragged on. You knew it was going to happen. He was like, all right, come on then. No, but they- <laughs> All right. <laughs> Wait, what? what? Are you a fucking movie critic right now? <laughs> what, did you think they should have died? Yeah. I would have, it would have been a nice twist. <laughs> <laughs> Credits roll. <laughs> fame, fam, famous Pixar what a, movie. What a toy it, story. What if it just then kick, cut to like the factory where they make Buzz and Andy. And it's just like- It just cuts to yeah. like a pile of ashes. <laughs> it's just called like a Rick and Morty. It's like, actually that was the alternative universe of, you know- That would have truly ruined Toy Story. Is, is, we is, saw like 10,000 buzzes in like uh, Toy Story 2. Why couldn't we have like Spanish buzz take over, you know? <laughs> Like what's, why, why? El Buzz. <laughs> I'll why? tell you who would have killed off the Toy Story cast. Who? Hideaki Anno. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, he would have killed them off and been like, they're, they're, they go all, into, they're all toys. Yeah. They all share one mind. They go into the incinerator and then they explode in a giant cross. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> the end. The end. You know, Fuck your childhood. They're, they're, <laughs> they're toys. If they went anywhere near an incinerator, they would have melted and been deformed. Well, yeah, of course. Also, what year is this where we have incinerators attached to like kindergarten or whatever. <laughs> what? Well, who, that is true. Who, who installed an incinerator in a kindergarten? How how irresponsible is this? Why was that there? Don't go near that room, have, children. Why, I, is, is, wait, was this near? Was it, it was, in the kindergarten? I, I completely it was nearby, right? Or something? I'm pretty like, sure it was nearby what, or something. I, I don't know. What? What? Why? I just. I, oh my didn't gosh. they? Didn't they go to a garbage dump? I don't fucking know. Yeah, they went. To, yeah. yeah, that's right. I'm it was pretty pretty sure they went to a garbage dump. I just thought it was attached to like the school, <laughs> the kindergarten. That would have been the real plot. <laughs> And I, I'd have, it'd have been like, it was actually a disposal site all along. It was not a kindergarten. I don't know. Connor just fucking mementoed himself where like, he just like, a time, he, you fucking King Crimson yourself where like a time period just yeah. fucking disappeared. I and you're like, so. I guess they just ended up in I a fucking I incinerator. So, I was so bored at that point in the movie. Cause one and two, I liked a lot. I liked that a lot. I love the scene yeah, where yeah. he's like, oh, yeah. I got to drive to work. And then he crosses the street. Yeah, that car. scene was a banger. That's a classic. That's a classic scene. I love scene. that. Just it's naming off memes now. Toy man. Story one and two, I actually like, really fucking okay. funny. Yeah. Can I just say great. Toy Story 2, that scene at the airport is still one of my favorite it's scenes amazing. of Toy Story. That scene, that fi fight scene, can I call it a fight yeah, scene? Yeah, it's a fight scene. Yeah, that, fight that, scene. That, that, uh, that, that, squab that, that squabble scene. I, don't know, I, I, felt, I felt, you know, a lot of the modern uh, 
uh, I, I can watch a lot of the older films that I haven't even watched before, mm. the kids ones, and I thought that they're really good because they just, you know, they're, mm. as an adult, you can watch them no problem. Mm -hmm. But I find that when I watch a lot of the new uh, kids films, I can't, I can't watch them because they're just- Oh, you're know. talking about like recent Pixar films and stuff like Not, that, right? Yeah, I feel like, like they've been like, I, I mean, this is a common thing, right? Where everyone's like, oh, they've been dumbed down. But I did feel that like when I watch a lot of the older movies, mm. like Disney, uh, like 80s to 2000s, like I can watch any of them. And yeah. I'm like, this is good. But a no, kid can watch them as well. I mean, like I did have like a period where I actually sat down and like watched all of like <laughs> the recent Disney movies and the recent Pixar movies because I wanted to make sure, yeah. right? I was like, is it like actually watched, getting dumbed down or is that just like my like, like own opinion? Have you right? watched Pinocchio? That movie's fucked. Yeah, that yeah, that movie's I do not remember Pinocchio. Have you watched Pinocchio? I dude, have. They, I dude, know I have. They, like, fucking, they smoke cigars they, and they turn smoke, into donkeys. They smoke cigars, gamble, and drink alcohol. Yeah. Like, and I'm like, and oh, these are like fine. these are like these kids are like eight years old. I, I don't remember Woody like cracking open a bong. Like, I, <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, Buzz, <laughs> Buzz, are you, you going to hit the bong? <laughs> and Andy's in college, bro. Let's hit the bong. <laughs> like, I don't it's remember. It's huge. <laughs> yeah. the, the bong just starts talking. And it's just Seth Rogen. <laughs> like, you know. I don't remember this. Like, pretty sure that's just fucking that's sausage a, party. I'm man. pretty sure this is actually like a, the Playboy a, magazine comes no, to life. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> this is like a cartoon uh, robot chicken. Uh, yeah. uh, it's like uh, a new ground yeah, spin off. <laughs> Pretty sure this is a thing. I don't know. Mario. Yeah, wait. Don't they, yeah, there was a uh, robot chicken where like they go to. Am I am I dreaming this? Where they like they do a Toy Story parody and like dildos talk or something. <laughs> I don't know. I, I, would, I can't remember. That's a million dollar idea. I, I, maybe I've saying. made this up. Yeah. If not, you, that's that's all yours. I, I mean, that's low hanging fruit. But I, I feel I feel like that sounds like a fever dream. But most I, robot I, chicken I, skits I, are fever adult dreams. Adult Toy Story. I feel yeah, like yeah, yeah. with movies, I can't remember what I've made up and what is actually happening and what has happened. You I shouldn't don't. share too much, man. You're giving away million dollar ideas left and right. Maybe the thing is I'll have this idea. Like, oh, it's already been done. It was never done. <laughs> it was never Until done. it wasn't. I have an absolutely <laughs> abhorrent memory. Yeah. just absolutely abysmal when it comes to remembering films and media. I just can't, I remember what you I remember felt. remember Jojo and that's pretty much yeah. it. I remember what I felt about the media. I don't yeah. remember much about it. Just like one or two scenes here and there. That's all I remember. I that's pretty common though. Is that, is that it's, common? Well, I, I think especially if you- I cannot remember character names either. Well, I think- I, I'm, I'm also shit at remembering Yeah, but I feel names. that's especially the case for people who have consumed like a shitload of media, right? Like after a while, like your brain's gonna overcap with that kind of shit. Yeah. Is, I'm, it, is I'm, this I'm, just the modern day problem of too much too much media? Too much consumption. Too much media? I can't yeah. remember fucking anything. Now I'm watching YouTube shorts and I feel like my brain has like one second memory. <laughs> I feel I, the I, shorts I, are not helping. I, I, yeah, TikTok and the shorts definitely haven't helped in hacking your brain to be like, okay, on to the no, next thing. But, but consume, yeah. consume, consume. But then I talked to my dad and he like can't remember the word for anything. And I'm like, shit, is that what I'm going to be like? And like, I minutes. think that's a different problem. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no, he just like he just refuses to learn like the if you if he's learned a word a mm. certain way, mm -hmm. he just will never correct it. Like what he, do you mean? Like it, like he's he um like pronouncing or like yeah pronunciation yeah he he will never change the pronunciation once he's decided what the pronunciation is in his head. I don't right. think that's a memory issue. I think yeah. that's just being stubborn. <laughs> but that, I think that is like an older thing because I, yeah. I think I've met a few older people who do that. Whether yeah. like you you correct the pronunciation like no. Oh no, my dad yeah. is like that as well. My dad's like he oh. tells a fact and then I go um actually it's not and then he's like no 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 honestly that's I'm, not a credible I'm, source. Honestly, I'm kind of like that. Yeah, I know. Are you gonna tell me that GIF is not pronounced GIF? It is GIF. I I don't give a shit if he it's says GIF. It's no, GIF. No, that's that's I, the yeah. point, right? I don't give a shit if that guy says yeah. it's GIF. Yeah, right? yeah. yeah. Like, I don't, I don't not... give a shit. It's GIF. It's GIF. And like fucking the world could end and like- You don't have a say, even though you made it. You yeah. don't have a say. The G stands for graphic. You don't say graphic. Yeah. <laughs> no, exa exactly. It's a good right? sound. It's GIF. <laughs> like I, there could be like, they, like, there could be a gun to my head to be like, you can live. If you just say Jeff, I'd be like, no, shoot, shoot me now. Gif. Shoot me. <laughs> <laughs> Bang. I'll, be, I'll, I'll, I'll take the gun off him. Like, it's good. I don't know, you know, even if you made the thing, I think you can have, you know, if if you made it a clear from the start mm. that it was that and yeah. that's what it was, but it, it became massive public domain and was widely used before it became into the public discourse that it was called Jeff. Right. right, right. So at that point, no, he might have been saying it for a while, but he didn't do a very good job of making everyone know it was GIF. He should, everything at the, at the bottom should have a watermark saying it is pronounced GIF, yeah. you know, to make it clear. But I feel like as a creator, you don't really have much 
uh, say over how- No, no, especially when it becomes that widespread. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. It's already yeah. like rooted into society. There so, are yeah. so many things that like, once they're adopted by the public, you know, you they become their own kind of beast, right? Yeah. It becomes yeah. its own thing. Yeah. And you don't really get a say over it. Well, th well, that's like if, you know, Arno came out tomorrow and said, it's actually pronounced Evangelion. <laughs> then everyone will be like, no, it's not. <laughs> yeah, it's it's, it's Evangelion. Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. okay, yeah. I mean, yeah, okay Arno. I, I don't like, mean, it's, Arno's- It's like, Arno. like JK Rowling telling us like weird fa Harry Potter facts. Like, <laughs> Like they the <laughs> shit they shit themselves and then teleported away. Like, <laughs> no, I don't believe <laughs> no. you. I, I, even though you made this and this is your world, no, you don't have a say. It's over pronounced this Harry Potter, actually. <laughs> <laughs> you don't have a say over this. What was the other weird, weird one that he brought out? Like uh, something weird about Hagrid or something. I it, it, it was Dumbledore's gay. Dumbledore's or gay. No, 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 that, that was, no, no but that that's canon. A, yeah, that, that was already canonical. There was another yeah. one with like Hagrid where it was like something really fucking weird about yeah, Hagrid. I can't, I can't remember. And I was like, like into anal or something. It was like ha Hagrid, ha Hagrid had a fucking threesome with Snape and <laughs> with, Dumbledore. With McGonagall. <laughs> and it's canon. And I was just like, why, why are you doing JK Rowling? Why, why are you doing this? <laughs> it happens in between the first two books. <laughs> I just didn't write it. Interesting though, isn't it? How like, if you do try and retcon things or what well, it feels like retconning, mm. the audience will be like, no. Yeah, yeah, I mean, but, I mean, yeah. I mean, I know he's done that several fucking times mm. because he's he's come out several times saying like, no, it's it's not like that. Like for example, the crosses the the, the cross biblical, doesn't mean anything. The cross doesn't mean anything. Or the, I just put this in because I thought yeah, it was cool. But, and then uh, yeah, I guess so. I guess it comes. And people off. are like, no, 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 no. But then it's interesting, right? Because then that pegs the argument of it's not whether as much as it's not really anything to do with the media itself. It's more so to do with whether the public likes you and like is like. <laughs> Yeah, I did, yeah, okay, you got a yeah. point. All right, uh, that is true. It's, it's whether or not the public the actually takes you. Yeah, it's whether or not yeah. the public actually takes you seriously. Or so, not. like, even if she released a new book, I'm sure people will be like, "Nah, it's not canonical." I just <laughs> don't like her. I just don't like her, do I? So, um, well, so sometimes you sometimes you just got to decide, you know. And also, I, mean, I think I think she has pushed it with what she can get the audience to agree with. Yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. I think once you've brought in these characters and you've brought in this world, there is a certain amount of. Uh no, uh, I don't. I don't really agree with that. Yeah. <laughs> like, well, yeah. I mean, she certainly hasn't helped her public image with that kind yeah. of stuff. Right? Yeah. Meanwhile, well, if like fucking Nasu came out with another fate thing, it was like, uh yes, this is actually not canonical. All the Nas fans would be like, yes, thank you, Nasu, <laughs> thank you for another <laughs> piece. I, I was, did, did was uh did was Anno ever ridiculous with the stuff that he suggested? You Have know. you seen Ava? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like it's all it's all always in line, you know. Hearing Ava Jacob, is the definition of ridiculous. Yeah, but that, that's why it's in line. Harry Potter had rules uh, to some extent, yeah. and to hear her go, yeah, oh, the reason why Hagrid doesn't have kids is because he exclusively fists people. That's not <laughs> that, that, that isn't something that like, he's incapable of that, that, reproducing. Like that, that, you know, that doesn't line up with what I understood about right, Harry right. Potter. But I, that, I, like, I, to, 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 to say that is like okay, uh, no, I don't. Know. Know about that? That's what it, that was a level of absurd is that J.K. Rowling would bring to the oh table. Oh my god! I wish that was canon. <laughs> I actually wish that I mean, was. I mean, it's, I mean, it's not as any more ridiculous than like taking a shit and making it disappear. <laughs> magic. Well, like, I, like, but you I also I'm love like, that. I also think that's amazing. Why wasn't that in the movie? <laughs> like, like, I want like oh sometimes, sometimes, like, I, I think sometimes as an oh author god. and as a consumer, you got to understand. You, you got to think sometimes. At what point is there too much detail in yeah, world? Yeah. Building. Yeah, that's true. the exact point when there's too much yeah, fucking too detail much fucking in world true. building. I just loved that, that uh, JK Rowling thought about this after the fact and thought, that's a neat little fan. Yeah. I'm gonna let everyone know. I'm a, I'm a Siri played to him, open Twitter. <laughs> I would like to teach longer. you guys about the, the, the information about this the also makes me teleporting wonder. fecal matter. This also makes me wonder was just like, were they just fucking fascinated when they first saw a toilet in like the <laughs> human world? They're like, holy shit, you have a room dedicated for shitting. This is amazing. <laughs> Like you know, do they wipe? Like, do they? Do they have? Or does that get teleported does as that, well? Does yeah. that does like? No, it doesn't get teleported. I believe it. Like, the, did it get teleported? Or does did every single? Because then, by that sense, you'd never need a shower because every yeah. single thing attached to your body, including yeah. some, this you know. Or does, does it get teleported while it's inside of you? No, no. I think I think <laughs> I think what I remember from the tweet that she tweeted. I think you take a shit, and then they don't <laughs> teleport it anywhere. They just make it invisible. 
I think. <laughs> Oh, Wait, they magic away the evidence? That's magic away whatever. What, about you? what you does know, that mean? <laughs> like, that's so many interpretations. Oh my magic God. Magic away the evidence. I, I, need, I need a five page thesis. Like, I don't know, I need like a 10, sense, 20 page thesis. I need then, like a oh, six hour have, video on the, like the poop situation. You on your ass though still. <laughs> like it's not clean. You need a bidet or something. Or I assume does the spell get rid of that? If so, then why would you need to ever shower? Because surely the spell can also get rid of any <laughs> bodily fluids or odor that you might have. Also, you know, when they nut, <laughs> And if they're inside of someone, they don't want to get them pregnant. Do they just like- Delete us. Yeah, do they like- <laughs> do, they, do they just come Fetus and they're like- delete us. Yeah, do they, do they just, do they just- Genuinely, do they come and they can just be like, come be gone? Like, and it's gone? Like- Oh my God. Are they able to cast spells? If they, if they, okay. Okay, I, I I believe right. I'm on board oh with I'm on board oh with the fact that you can you can oh. spell away your own fluids right yeah. in your own body. If you if you get your fluids in someone else's body, can your spells still get them away? Does that does it? Can you can you get rid of fluids in other people's bodies? I just like to imagine like fucking. Is that a thing? I, I, I want to say that next time I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> it's like baby, where's the condom? Pulls out a wand. Feeds <laughs> deletes <laughs> things you should never say after sex. <laughs> Are we 10 years old here? <laughs> JK, can you please make that fucking canon, please? I, I just want Harry. That's information Castle. I want to know please, about please, the Harry Potter universe. Please make that canon. Oh, yeah. I don't, I don't care about the disappearing shit. I care about how, I what they do to replace condoms in the Harry Potter world. Oh, God. I'm not, I'm not going to be able to get that image out of my mind now. <laughs> Connor was having a rant and I was just like off in my own world. It's like pointing the wall down. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I got you, babe. Oh. Sorry, what were we talking yeah, about? What were we talking about? <laughs> Do you want to repeat your rant? Yeah, <laughs> what we're saying, if you can get rid of the fluids, yeah. You know, yeah. Uh, excrement that's yeah. yours. If, if, if you nut in somebody else, yeah. like, can you get rid of their fluids? Because it's technically inside of them. I, I guess so, yeah, right? You pull but a fetus, delete us, then, then you, you got to do it. get rid of any of their fluids. Right. <laughs> Your blood is now gone. You are dead. <laughs> like, you know. Spinal fluid, gone. Like, I mean, you know. Just collapses. So this is a very disgusting uh, conversation, but one that needs to be done. It's fascinating, it's fascinating. <laughs> thank you, thank you, JK Rowling. Thank you, JK. For, uh, for, for letting our imagination run wild. Yeah, for, for, answer, uh, for asking the important questions and answering the important questions. I still questions can't get well. over the fucking, like, what was it, deleting the evidence with magic or some shit? Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, in was the own words, vanished the evidence. Vanished the evidence with magic. That's what I'm going to say in court next time when I commit a murder. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Your Honor, I vanished the evidence with magic. <laughs> moving on in from that. In other of moving excrement, <laughs> I've been moving my stuff. <laughs> you've been moving your shit? You've, you've been moving my period, shit. right? Yeah, it's been moving house. Oh my God, so long. Yeah. How's, how's that been going for you? <laughs> Very long. <laughs> I mean, people like, people on Twitter were asking and people coming into my streams being like, Connor's yeah. not streaming right now, yeah, everyone, what's happening? Everyone's like, well, he hasn't streamed for like 10 days. I miss it so yeah. much. <laughs> kind of like no subs when I come back. Yeah. <laughs> so sad. I have to work from the ground up again. But like, you're pretty much fully moved in, right? Like you're out yeah. of your well, office? I, yeah, I, I've, I fully moved like a week ago, but then I went away for like five days as well. Mm -hmm. And also I didn't have any furniture and then it, it all came and it's, taking up all of my living room. So like building stuff is such a nightmare. So yeah. like, yeah. got like Jenga stuff out of the way and then build it. But then it takes up a lot of room because the boxes obviously were tightly packed. Yeah, you gotta like so move then, the boxes in another room, right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's like every time I feel like I make any progress, something else turns up that I gotta do. And I'm like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> At least I have a bed now. Oh yeah. It's a nice bed. You got, you got the koala bed. Yeah, right? yeah, I did. Yeah, I've been they, like taking care of all the fucking cardboard that's been building oh up. Oh my man. god, yeah, because you know in the UK you could just you know fill up your car, yeah, drive down to the local recycling center and chuck all the cardboard. Away. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's pretty, pretty easy, really. Yeah, but in Japan you can't do that. You no. have to put it in your, you have to recycle it in your building. And like, actually, you, on a specific you might, day, actually, you might be able to take it um, somewhere, but I don't have a car. Yeah, and also I'm not renting a car just to take cardboard. <laughs> yeah. But luckily, the new place I moved into, you can just put them out at any time. Oh, that's good. That's and good. there's a, like a whole area for trash downstairs. Oh, like an inside area. Yeah, because yeah. my previous place, it, it was put outside. Yeah. So you could only put it on like Wednesday at 8 a.m. Yeah, and my, my uh, current place is like that as well. Yeah, I hated that because mm. I was like, fuck, dude, I got shit to do, man. Yeah. See, my place though, it says you need to take everything out before 8 a.m. No, because they come to collect it. Dude, just do it yeah. the night before. No, like, yeah, no, no, I, no I, I but like at, at my place, they don't come to pick it up till like 2 p.m. 
Yeah. Oh yeah, they did that too. Yeah. yeah. So I'm yeah. just like, I'll just fucking take it out in the morning. Then, yeah, whenever. yeah. They they used to in my old place. They I, when I first moved in, they were like, you have to wake up at seven a.m. to take out the trash. Yeah. yeah. I'm not waking up at seven a.m. <laughs> I'll stay up till like four a.m. and do it. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay, waking up at seven. Fuck off. Yeah. <laughs> like, are you serious? <laughs> I mean, it's gotten me to like get a good sleep schedule at least. Like, I yeah. wake up nice and early in the morning God, to get a... shit done. Yeah, but, but that's God. not a good thing to wake up. Yeah, to. yeah. Well, yeah. Oh yeah, wake up. Can't wait to go fucking take out my smelly garbage. You get used to it after a while, honestly. But then, yeah, the new place is great. You can just chuck it out anytime there's mm. like normally the, the more mo modern apartment buildings you can just like just go downstairs and there'll be an area yeah our yeah. old our old office had that yeah yeah because yeah, yeah, it was yeah, a new yeah. bu newer building yeah, yeah the trash station office was super good it was mm. it's basically like that it's like okay. identical right um but there's like a separate room for like stinky trash i guess <laughs> like burnable because uh, uh, like, yeah, yeah. all your, like, all your like, food stinky. is like burnable yeah. so there's just like another room for that i mean i right. guess that's good right like because yeah. you know you yeah. don't have to fuck your nose don't have to struggle when yeah, you, know, you take yeah. cardboard out right? it's so weird though there's like my room has like this really like massive security camera mm. that points at the trash and i'm guessing it's to stop uh, you from doing anything strange, right? Or like putting trash that you shouldn't. Yeah, yeah. And there is literally like black and white tape all over this room. Like it looks like a murder room. <laughs> and I think it's on purpose to scare you, right. to make you not feel like you're. It's okay what, to what like. What would get you all, do? I think trashing stuff you shouldn't be trashing there. Because oh, like trash okay. laws in Japan are like weirdly specific. Burnable, burnable stuff, right, in Japan. Yeah, it's very specific. So like plastic bottles can't go with plastic. Yeah. It yeah. has to very specifically go with plastic bottles. Mm. Yeah. There's a whole nother area for that. Mm. Yeah. And there's and cardboard can't go with paper. Yeah. Paper is another thing. And that paper has, is burnables. Yeah, it's no no no. It's it's in my place it's not. Oh yeah, really? It's, totally, it's, it's recyclable. Oh, yeah, really? paper is, yeah, yeah, yeah. Some places it's burnable, but it also depends on the size of the paper. If it's too small, it's not. You can't put it uh. in the thing. It's really fucking weird. Like, there's so many rules, and you most of them you have to follow. And all of these rules as well changes depending on where you are. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You can live in the same. You can live in Tokyo, but every municipality in Tokyo has a different rule. Yeah. And like, you know, so also like batteries is very specific. It can only mm. go in a certain place. So all this stuff is very confusing. Um, and, and there should be, no matter where you live in Tokyo or Saitama or Chiba or any of those places, there should be an English guide. Yeah. They yeah. normally all have them. You usually get an English guide at yeah. the town hall when you move in. Yeah. yeah, it's very confusing because sometimes <laughs> the material isn't covered. So like cardboard is good, mm. but cardboard pizza boxes, no, 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 because it's been greasy, yeah, yeah, so yeah. it can't go. I actually have an app yeah. that where if I type in a certain thing, oh, really? then it tells me what day to take it out. Oh. Oh. Oh, so really if I'm useful. not sure, then I go to my app, I type in, you know, yeah. like, yeah. cause I remember one time it was like, uh, there was like a specific type of styrofoam. Yeah. It's not like the, it's not like the hard, like squeaky styrofoam. It's more oh, like the, the softer, squishy one. God. The squishy like the black one. Yeah, the one yeah, 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 yeah. Like yeah, the squishy yeah. styrofoam. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, I so I was like, fuck, I don't know what that is. So I looked it up on the app and it was on a completely different day. I was like, yeah. oh, thank God. Wait, really? Yeah. Shit, I put that in Burnable, bro. Well, I don't know, maybe my, Oh, municipal, it's different. Styrofoam is just the one thing when I'm just like, where does this go? I'm just like, Styrofoam is burnable, right? Some some types of styrofoam is burnable. Other I types is plastic. I thought it was recyclable plastics. See, it, it completely changes where you are. Yeah. Right? Well, Sometimes yeah. it's I all burnable. Like, <laughs> I, just, I just put like eight bags of that shit in the burnable. Fuck. Sometimes it's all burnable. Sometimes You're gonna get a knock depends. on your door. Yeah. Like the police are gonna come in and just like, so. Excuse me, are you the gaijin that threw out all of those styrofoam? <laughs> <laughs> Just having a hunch. Imagine being the guy that yeah. just like threw out all the burnables in the wrong place. Yeah. Thank God, there's a lot of there's a lot of foreigners in my building uh, as well. So it's like I don't yeah. feel like the odd one out. Yeah. I definitely felt like in my old building it was for Japanese families. Yeah. Oh yeah. And, uh, well, you were I living was... in an area that was very like oh yeah, not dude. not exactly like gaijin friendly. I mean, no. we all were. we all because yeah, yeah. we all lived five minutes away from each other yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And I, um, I lived even further out than you guys. Mm. So yeah, I definitely lived with like all like the. Um, and Just in a relatively and... older building as well, right? Oh yeah, it was super old. Yeah, and uh, it was definitely a family building as well. I don't mm -hmm. know, and I didn't see anyone else there who looked even remotely my age. Yeah, yeah. Uh, they were nice though. I never really had any problem. Like, so I, I got a, I got a noise complaint, but I expected as much. Yeah. Well, I mean, if you're shouting at fucking two a.m. Yeah, yeah. Apex, I mean, you right? know, like, it's one of those things that- It's only a matter of time. When yeah. I first moved in, I would literally walk around my own apartment like Metal Gear Solid. Like I was so, because I'd heard nightmare scenarios yeah. about noise right. where I was just tiptoeing around my apartment like at night. Cause yeah. I genuinely thought if I just walked at a normal brisk pace, yeah. I would get like shouted out. 
But you know, the months go on and you start to realize, you know, okay, okay, I guess- I, I can't I, help the clapping of my ass cheeks being yeah. so loud. <laughs> I'm so dummy thick. Yeah, it's so dummy thick. You know, then one time I had friends over who stayed over till five and I never got a noise complaint. And then mm. I was like, oh, okay. And then you slowly get more comfortable. <laughs> you you know, test yeah. the limit. Yeah, because you know, and then maybe something happened where, all right, there's a deadline. I have to record this thing. It's 2 a.m. Mm. and they need it right now. Mm. Yeah. Okay, well, I guess I'll do it. I'll just scream one line and I'll do it. And then I also, I had to record voice lines one time. I, just, I distinctly remember were full on shouting. Yeah. Uh, but this was like midday. Yeah. But it was to the point where I was, sh this is shouting so loud and so aggressively that I, I would totally understand if the police were called right. in yeah. any scenario. It sounded like a murder was happening. Li literally, <laughs> even a murderer wouldn't have done it with such conviction the way I did. <laughs> so I was, I did that and that definitely made me more confident. Right. So it was one of those things where I just built up and then I started streaming. And I started streaming later yeah. and later and later. And then I started streaming louder and louder. <laughs> and then eventually I got a noise complaint, yeah, which right. was totally, because I think it was one where I was totally screaming at 4 a.m., yeah. which I totally understood. I just assumed the people below me, because this was a, a four bedroom. I just assumed they were sleeping in a totally different room mm. and they were so old that they nothing would wake them up. That's I, the I thing, was hoping yeah. that they were that kind of old people yeah. where they were they were not getting up for anything. Yeah, that's the thing. Sometimes like you get lucky because like the the room that if you especially if you have multiple rooms, the room that you scream the loudest yeah. in is nowhere near where the person downstairs is sleeping. Yeah, it's 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 always it's mostly like where is the bedroom located? Mm. Yeah. Right? And and am I making a lot of noise where their bedroom is located? Because anywhere else I feel like it's the the more understanding about it, but it's always the bedroom. Yeah. And I th I think like I really lucked out with the apartment. I had before because I've never got a noise complaint. Mm. And I'm I think, very lucky. I don't yeah. know how you yeah. I, I feel like I definitely should. Like I fucking limit test that thing. I, 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 oh, I, we I, had parties at your house yeah, at yeah. 5 a.m. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> we've, we've had very loud parties at 5 a.m. Um, on a Saturday. So if we weren't being complete oh, no, but, but, but It doesn't matter to the old people. Officer, in, in, in Japan, oh, in Japan that, is, that, is not, uh, <laughs> that is not, that is not, that is not acceptable anywhere. But uh, no. it's, uh, yeah, I fucking limit broke that shit. <laughs> and uh, I didn't get a noise complaint. And I'm like very, very surprised. Saturdays, it, it doesn't matter what day of the week it is to an old person. Mm. Like, it, Cause like the cops aren't gonna be like, all right, we got a noise complaint. You'd be like, bro, it's Officer, a Saturday. License to party, yeah. it's a Saturday. Yeah. Cops <laughs> like, understandable, have a nice day. <laughs> I, just, I just feel like, I, I feel like I locked up because I feel like I had neighbors who had like a mutual understanding. Cause mm. I yeah. feel like I've had the only neighbor I can, I, I that I've know of of anyone living in Japan that was like really fucking noisy. Mm. Yeah, um, like they would have arguments all the fucking time, and it wasn't mm. just like a Japanese argument. It was full on shouting sometimes. It was right. the most un-Japanese wow. Japanese argument wow. I've ever heard. Right, and I'm just like, if 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 you if you make noise, then. You know, I'm going to make noise yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm making mutual one, understanding. Yeah, mutual yeah. understanding. That's that's the, it's a symbiotic relationship. You know, I mean, the way, the way I, I I was always very you know even if I was making noise, I would be if, if they're having a party once a month. Yeah, so be it. Yeah, yeah. exactly. It's, it's once a month. I yeah. can live with that. It's yeah. not like I have like. Uh, a, I don't know, like a bonsai tree that's sensitive to noise or something in my apartment that shits itself and it hears two decibels. You know what I mean? Like I'm, yeah. I, I think it's okay. I think yeah. Yeah. that's why I wouldn't really call the cops, but Japanese people have no chill with that and they no. just immediately call the cops. Well, no, because to them it's like, why are you being so loud at home when you could just go to an izakaya yeah, or go out yeah. in town and have fun? And I'm like, I would, if everything doesn't close yeah. at 8 p.m. and alcohol can't be served anyway. Well, yeah, one of the things that's been so, taking so long in my new place is that my office, I've actually like gone through the whole effort of like trying to sound treat it to the best of my ability, mm. right? As much as you can, because the best way to sound treat proof a room is to do it while they're building the goddamn room. Yeah, of yeah. course. Um, you know, but yeah. I've had to do it in post. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, it's been a nightmare because I've had to put like two layers of stuff on my wall and then I still haven't done it all yet. Um, so like two layers of fabric mm -hmm. um, that I've attached to the wall. And then I'm doing the third, which is the like sound foam. Yeah. yeah Cause you know, YouTubers just put like four pieces and they're like, it's soundproof, my room. And it's like, that is not even remotely soundproof. <laughs> I like the I like the rooms where it's like one piece over here and another piece over here. And it's, it's just like, it's just one piece behind where they're sitting. And yeah. I'm like my job here is done. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. My my limb looks super weird right now because it's mm. just all like every single wall is like black plastic rubber. Mm. Yeah, uh, but it works. It's it, like you can't really hear like much. Immediately outside. the echo is gone. It's yeah, and so I I put a I put a layer of the uh, 
the rubber stuff down as well. And then I put noise reducing carpet on top of it. Mm. So like you can jump in my room. Neighbors ain't gonna hear shit downstairs. Yeah, I, I, I actually just finished laying yeah, out that the carpet well, yeah. in my office as well. Like finally. Yeah, because like, I, I, I was talking about Joe what I was doing. Joe was like, that sounds like a good idea. Yeah, so yeah. I decided to do that in my room because my, my room was like super fucking echoey because I have like yeah. wooden floors, right? So immediately- It helps so much, immediately. yeah. Immediately once I put up, before I even started putting up the sound foam, immediately with the carpet, it's yeah. like 80% of the echo is gone. Yeah, every single wall you do makes it, gets better results. Yeah, and, yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's not since I moved to Japan that I'm just like, man, carpets are good. I miss carpets. Yeah. Cause like we had carpets in England. Like you, you, you didn't have a, like you didn't have a house, you never had a house in England that had wooden floors, right? Cause it's not good for noise, uh, not noise, like uh, we have uh, heat floors. insulation. No. Really? Well, no, living room was wooden, but upstairs was carpet. Yeah, yeah so our in house like, was like half wood. In, half in like your rooms, you'd have carpet. And yeah. like, I, I didn't know how much I missed that until I moved to Asia, where everything here is wooden floors. Mm. Well, we, we had like fitted carpet in, in Europe, I think, mm. where like they come in and they specially like get the right size and they fit it all professionally. Yeah. Yeah. But in Japan, they always use these the, the square, like just pick up and go it's, kind yeah. of yeah. The, the post <clears throat> carpet. Yeah, yeah. They just, they, in Japan, like a lot of the carpets are just like, you'll see them everywhere. They're just like these. Like cubes. Yeah, they're, uh, we have or it like here. Squares, yeah, yeah, they're everywhere. Like they're just like squares. You plunk them down and then you just cut them around the edges. Mm, so yeah, like, yeah. I had to like hand cut it to my room. It looks really fucking good, yeah. but I spent like a whole fucking day doing yeah, it. Yeah, I did too, because my room's not square. Yeah, It's yeah, like same, it's same. like weird fucking shapes. I'm like, oh. And cutting fuck. the corners and stuff is a yeah. pain in the ass. So like, it looks good from a distance, mm. but when you get down on the floor, you see how much of a shit job yeah, yeah. <laughs> Cause but that it shit's is. hard, yeah. man. It's hard. I'm yeah. very proud of it. I've been DIYing for like two days yeah, now, same. but it looks oh, great. Yeah. It looks amazing. Same, and yeah. when everything's set up, it should be good. Yeah, that'll be me in like two months. Yeah, because I think I'm the last one to move out. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm <coughs> planning to have a whole wall of just Jojo posters. Oh, nice. That, that'll be like- Didn't like you have that in your old place? No, no, literally, because <laughs> before you could see the walls, I was right. gonna make it like- Oh, the, like, like, put like it literally like 90% like of the wall is just right. Jojo posters. Isn't it already? <laughs> no, but like they had gaps. They had gaps. I don't want gaps. I want it to be literally. It like looks like the wall, side side the wall side. is made out of Jojo. <laughs> the wall is Jojo. The wall, the wall is, is Jojo. The floor is Jojo. I, I thought like, how good, of a, how good of a shot would it be? It's like, just behind me, it's literally just Jojo. That's so badass. <laughs> the wall is Jojo. I, so like the way I attached it to the wall was like, I wasn't sure if it would it would like be able to hold the posters. Cause this, this rubber stuff that I got to prevent sound mm. is, yeah. is fucking heavy. Yeah. Right. You you bought a roll as well, right? Yeah, it is. Like it's, it's massive. It's uh what is it? Uh, 10 meters. Mm. It's a 10 meter roll. And By like one meter wide, I think. One meter wide, yeah. 10 meters long, and it's 20 kilograms. Yeah. And it is so fucking heavy. Yeah. Put that on your wall? Yeah, exactly, yeah. right? How? With great difficulty. <laughs> and so I was concerned. I was like the way I attached it, I was like I wonder if it will stay, if I then put posters on it. So before mm. I left for my trip, I attached yeah. the posters and I was like, hopefully when I come back, my wall will be intact. Yeah. And it, luckily it's intact. It's intact, <laughs> yeah. Should be fine. But the, the poster frames I have are extremely light. They're like the lightest poster frames. Oh I yeah, okay, that's you good. should be all right. Yeah. Should be fine. Should be fine. Hopefully. Be really awkward if I'm streaming one day and my whole wall <laughs> just, <laughs> just fucking comes down. I, I feel like the big test is gonna be in summer, right? Or next summer. I'm just gonna leave yeah. my AC on. Because- all, all, all yeah, the time. yeah, I'm no. not. I'm not risking it. Really, all the time. That's AC what I did in my in my current place. God. Because the, the you know <clears throat> the electricity bill, right? If you mm. have, I had like what like twenty grand of computer equipment in my room and, mm. and filming equipment. The AC bill to have it running all 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 the time is what like maybe an extra two hundred three hundred bucks for the whole summer. Well, yeah, it depends on how long you have it on for, I guess. But so for the, the summer period, just yeah. leave it on. Yeah. I'll pay that much just to have my equipment be fine. Yeah, that's true. Humidity fucks your mm. microphones and cameras and PC equipment. I, I, I would rather just have the whole room AC 20 Yeah, I'm, I'm thinking to invest in a dehumidifier just to put around just get a my- a dehumidifier. Yeah. yeah. Oh, I have so a dehumidifier like as, as, as like a Southeast Asian, I'm, I'm just like, I'm, I'm like part of my part of my soul is dying when you I hear put AC the, is on 24 no, no, seven, man. You can just put the <laughs> AC on dehumidify. <laughs> There's a setting for dehumidify. Yeah, that's true. So well, I, like, I leave it okay, on Okay, that. okay, okay. Or, what what happens if the, when the AC inevitably breaks? It's, an in, it's a good AC. It's not break. <laughs> no, but didn't, no, your, no. didn't your AC break? <laughs> well, what, so I, I, yeah, one of the other ACs broken, but- Yeah, so, yeah, what, so what's the say what happened the, in your room? Yeah. The other one for two years was fine. I'll deal with it when it breaks. <laughs> 
just, it'll be down for like three days at most. It's fine, right? Because, right. because, like, I, because, like, I, gr- I grew up with, like, I grew, I grew up with my parents beating into me. That is just like, look, the world could be on fucking fire right now, but you're not turning on that AC unless you like <laughs> really, also, I'm really need to. Comments being like, Connor's wasting so much electricity. He's not in the room, and I'm like, no, no, it's you know, I'm saving saving money he's, from not. Yeah, he's to saving the, the equipment. equipment. He's saving the equipment. Like the devil could be raising hell right outside a window, and you're not turning on that AC. No, like, fuck that. <laughs> I don't, I, no, sometimes I go to my mate's house in summer and it's fucking roasting. I'm like, why are you like this? Why do you hate yourself? I mean, the summer this year here was like that. Like, it's like the devil came back from hell and planted if his you, ass if, crack on the listen, earth. If, like- you can, if you can withstand that and you can live in a sauna, that's fine. I'm not gonna judge you. I'm, you can live in that. Don't come to my fucking house and tell me to turn my <laughs> AC off. I didn't choose to live like, like this. You, I didn't want to live on hard mode. I know. Uh, I don't need to. I'm not going to. I'm not. Fuck off. Don't come to my <laughs> house and tell me that. <laughs> I'm gonna do exactly that. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> I'm gonna do like, a, I'm gonna go mum mode and just be like, I can't believe you're wasting all this electricity. Oh my God. Like, think of the electricity bill, Connor. I couldn't care less. You think know. of the electricity bill, my God. Listen, I've lived like that. I, I don't I don't need to live like that. I, don't, I make good I money just, now. I, just feel, I don't need to worry about that. I just feel that. sorry for your AC, man. It's just like, oh, I'm, I'm, getting, I'm getting a break sometime, in right? The, in the new places as well, they installed like those industrial ones. You have them as well. Yeah, the they're built into the, the ceiling. Ones in the yeah. ceiling yeah. Right, right. Yeah, it looks really modern, really yeah. nice. Lifesaver that. It's beautiful. Yeah. I yeah. just noticed that this AC is not on and it's already cooled. Yeah, I mean, it's it's thankfully cooled down this this week. Yeah. Yeah. I do, are, we, are we still technically in summer? I don't no, even no. know. We anymore. are technically in summer. This like past week, we've had this like rain, this torrential rain yeah. from this like cold front coming in from Hokkaido. Yeah. And there's been like, flood warnings in like yeah. the greater Tokyo area. And I'm just like, oh man, this typhoon season is really fucking up. Mm, yeah. I looked at the news. It's not even a typhoon. No, it's, no, just, it's, rain. Typhoon, yeah, it's just, just rain. rain. And I'm like, how, how is it raining more than a typhoon right yeah, it's now? Just, just cause like seasons in Japan just don't make sense to me. Yeah. Like you wake up one day and then Japan just decided, okay, summer's over. Yeah. We're in the next it's, season it's now. It's snowing now. Yeah, <laughs> winter's over. We're in the next season now. There, there is no fucking transition yeah. period. You wake yeah. up one day and you oh. suddenly go from like dying in the heat to like, oh, you got to wear trousers yeah. and long shirts now. And long the, the statement of Japan has four seasons is the beast lie of the century. No, it does no, not. <laughs> it has two seasons. Yeah. Cot, cold or hot? Cot, cot. Cot. <laughs> cold or hot? That's the only two yeah, seasons. Like there is there is no in between. You know you know you know how you go to that one place and someone's like, oh, you don't like the weather? Just wait five minutes. Ha 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 In Japan, it's just like you don't like the season. Just wait a few days and uh, and then it, it'll, just, change. Yeah, it'll leave, change. It'll change. Don't put your just jacket. Leave the country. Yeah, yeah. Don't, don't put your jacket away. You're gonna need it. About three days, <laughs> guaranteed. <laughs> and, then, and then there's England, right? Where I never know what the appropriate way to dress is in England. Mm. Like if it's summer, do I wear a long sleeve still? Do I wear wow. short sleeves? Do I wear shorts? Do I bring a coat with me? I just like <laughs> England's the place where it's always acceptable to bring a coat. Yeah, yeah. just in case. I don't, yeah. what am I supposed to pack? We're going to England. I don't know what to wear. <laughs> I, do, I genuinely don't. I, I, do I wear, can I get away with shirts? Do I have to bring a, a jabama? Do I need to bring the drip? <laughs> I don't know. How much drip do I got to How bring? much drip? Is yeah. drip acceptable in the UK? Much, am I allowed to be drip? No. <laughs> am I allowed to be drip? <laughs> Allowed to be drip in the. Year. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Yeah, because like I, because like it's just one one place where I go outside and I'm just like, should I bring a coat with me? Mm. And the answer is always yes. Yeah, yeah, you yeah. can never yeah. really go wrong with bringing a, a coat in the UK. Yeah. In Japan, I feel like a fucking clown. Want to bring a want to bring a coat in the. <laughs> oh, I mean, especially this time of year. Yeah. Yeah. Have you noticed though that like what you wear in the UK is completely different to what you would normally wear here, like in terms of like sense of fashion, because I feel like at least with me, like I I wouldn't dress like this in Australia, for instance. Uh, Why? I don't know, because I feel that like just in general, just, I don't know, maybe it's just the area that I live in, but like Japan, I feel has definitely like, put in like a different sense of fashion into me than back in Australia. Like it to me in Australia, fashion was t-shirt, shorts, sandals. Yeah, I mean that's Australia, right? Yeah. I mean that that was like that's just that was like that was like, isn't it the national motto? Of Australia? Yeah. <laughs> it's like it's like you you'd feel fancy if you wore a pair of jeans, you know? Like yeah. it, it's like that level, right? But here it's like I don't know. I I feel weird going out with t-shirt, shorts, and sandals. I mean, I, I think I think it's just living in a country that's permanently in summer, right? Because right. Cause like that's kind of me in Thailand, mm. where if I'm not wearing t-shirt, shorts, and sandals, mm. something special is happening. Mm. Like so, mm. it's like this. Like in in England, you look for any 
opportunity you can mm. to wear shorts. Mm. In Thailand, you look for any opportunity you can to wear jeans and long shorts. <laughs> I, I want to wear jeans. I don't really like wearing shorts. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I don't really feel comfortable in them. Why? I don't know. I just, I mean, you I don't like exposing a, your legs? Maybe I haven't found the right pair. Yes, you know when you sit on, I feel like I'm- I Well, how short of shorts are you wearing though? No, reasonably sized, reasonably right, sized. Right, right, right. I feel like I can't enjoy every surface. You know when you sit down on some things, when yeah. you're wearing shorts, like, oh God, I don't like how my skin touches this. Jeez. <laughs> what, about like, what about like three quarter pants? Oh, those are a bit strange, aren't they? Yeah. yeah. See, like, it's weird. Like something like three quarter pants is completely normal here, but I would feel super fucking weird if I wore three quarter pants in Australia. And it's not because of like the weather. It's just because like, I wouldn't see anyone in Australia just fashion wise wearing just, three quarter pants. I, I just I just don't think shorts look very good. Like like <laughs> they No no no, okay. So so they no look No one good. looks good in shorts. <clears throat> no one looks <clears throat> like, no so, one so looks, every Australian no one looks offended. No one, looks, <laughs> no one looks better in shorts than they would wearing like n- Gee, jeans okay, or something. Yeah. Okay. Because like it's su- it's sunny outside, okay? Mm. So people can look good on the beach or whatever, in shorts or whatever. Anytime you go inside, you sit down in the restaurant, you look like a fucking clown. <laughs> there, there is no exception to not looking like a clown no. when you go inside and you're, and you're wearing, wearing shorts. shorts. Like, they're like I, I'm watching like the trash taste after dark screen and I'm just like, fucking hell, our legs look so ugly. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it's just knees on knees on knees. Yeah, there's just, there's just so many knees, man. <laughs> Like too much skin going on. And if it's just like the three quarter pants, well, you just have, you, like at that at that point you just have commitment issues. Just commit to shorts <laughs> or commit to jeans. Like like please come on. That's just <laughs> like yeah. I, I think being being uh, from the UK, I feel like fashion was never a high priority. Well uh, yeah, I, and Wales. I feel and I feel in the same way with Australia as well. Like I feel just I never even thought about what I was wearing in Australia because People I look sh- around yeah. me and yeah. I'm like I don't really see anyone who's like. Fashionable. People are so much fucking drip here. It's insane. Yeah, the drip I, I, I people, not- people will like just be going to work and they'll be dressed yeah. like a fucking model. And it's that's and, and I feel that's why I almost not so much pressured, but I guess like I kind of that made me look at myself. Yeah, I feel like I just my game, bro. Yeah. I mean, I, I feel like London was pretty fashionable. London. No, everyone dresses the same. I feel. Really? Everyone, everyone dresses the same. I feel in London. I feel like. Like I, th- I would say that even maybe people in London have even more drip than people here in Tokyo. I, I that's that's my genuine opinion. You see you're someone like like you see. <laughs> you, so, Why can we not agree over fucking London? <laughs> but you like you like the architecture. Fucking hate it. I, I, I think you London. Look, right, you look I, at, I think London's a fashionable city. You it's look like, at like uh, fucking Primark or anything. The models, everyone fucking dresses. What the, the fuck same. are you talking about? Primark slaps like four four. <laughs> For the for what you get for the price, the Primark fashion well, is yeah, fucking of amazing. For fucking child labor, you can get some good clothes. You know, <laughs> Primark's a great place. I remember place. one time I bought ten t-shirts for eight pounds in Primark, and I thought, fucking hell, who made a deal with the devil here? I, Why was yeah. this price able to go through? <laughs> I bought I've bought one thing at Primark, and it was a pair of eight Sonic the Hedgehog socks <laughs> for five pounds. <laughs> that's and, wait, that's overpriced. What the fuck? Yeah. Five pounds? You got mugged off. They're like one pounds for eight. Well, socks. Yeah, but I'm like. Like, I I'm, bought a whole suit from Primark for like 30 quid. And I'm like, what the fuck? What happened? And it looked, it looked decent, right? It looked decent. That's the problem. It looked good. <laughs> what, do, what, do, <laughs> there is, there, what do you mean that's the problem? I, I, I think now I'm like, you know, we we paid what? Like fucking 70 pounds for a t-shirt. No, $70 for a t-shirt. So what, 40 pounds for a t-shirt. Mm. I now feel that you know, maybe it's because I have more money now. <laughs> <laughs> maybe it's because I'm not, I'm doing much better for myself. Right. I feel that, huh, I think I would rather pay $30, $40 for a very good t-shirt mm. as opposed to $8 for 10 t-shirts. Yeah, yeah but like, that's, that's that's the thing. The biggest thing I've, I've noticed I just feel since like something's moving to Japan. gone wrong. No, I, I feel like the biggest difference since moving to Japan is that there were just more affordable options in high street and in high streets in the UK. But how that, much? That, how much affordable is like we're we're cutting some severe human rights corners here? <laughs> well, I'm, I'm, no, this is this is like I mean that's that's going to a different topic. We're talking no. about drip, right? And people having drip. I pe- no, I feel no, like no. especially in London, a lot of people have the drip. The drip comes with a cost, guys. Yeah, with the, the blood. Of course, of course, it comes with the, the blood cost. Of children. But like you you look here and basically. Like if it's just Uniqlo here and Uniqlo and like a few other places here, but in, in, in England, you just have a lot of choices and there is like no equivalent to Primark, I think worldwide. There's been nowhere in the world I've gone to that is a really, really cheap place to find clothes and just looks yeah. as good as Primark. 
I'm just, I'm, I'm I don't know, I think I, I will cool. happily still shop at Primark now. I, I think it, I think Primark clothes are like underrated just cause it's cheap. But you look at Primark clothes and you could easily sell that for like- I just always walk out with like five t-shirts I'm never gonna wear. Cause I thought they looked good in the store. <laughs> cause it's I mean, so that's, cheap. Cause you're like, I'll have five. That's, and that's, the that's problem. literally it's, me at Uniqlo. It's, it's, yeah. it's yeah. literally like the Primark is the equivalent of going to an all you can eat buffet at a, at a restaurant, right? You're just like, maybe I feel like having an Indian curry and, and a pizza <laughs> at the same time. Sick you know, that's- that. you know, I don't wanna hear that comment. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just, just like you do it. Cause you're just like, well, I, I just got so much choice. I just, maybe I'll have a bit mm. of Mexican as well. And a bit of Chinese. Mm. And you just, and it's an absolute I fucking fuck mess. My fight or flight response is kicking <laughs> yeah. in just hearing that. And then you <laughs> shit yourself and oh! violently, and then you wipe it away with magic. You know? yeah, I'll, 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 fine, Grant, Bring fine. it back. I'll, you can have it. Yeah, sure, drip. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Wait, so are you saying Primark is drip? And I'm, I'm not saying, saying Primark <laughs> okay. is drip. Okay, I'm I just saying, had to make sure. I'm saying Primark is affordable drip. It, it doesn't It doesn't look- mm, That's like, an oxymoron. <laughs> why? Why? I don't know, like- I, What is drip? Expensive clothes, just- Drip is like- I thought it was just clothes that look good. You know, yeah, you, but you, it's kind of like the hype beast stuff as well. Yeah, almost. There's drip. No I, I, oh, fuck off, fuck off. Drip, that, that just means that good drip you know, you have to buy brand name shit for good kind drip. Of, that's Usually, kind of what it was. That's, that's you, what, yeah. it was. That's well, it, what it was. It's kind, of been, it's kind of been developed a bit more now and kind of hijacked to be more of just good clothes. Yeah, just fashionable clothing. It's just right? fashionable like, clothing. That's what I. That's what when I heard drip, I, that's what I always thought it was. You know, sometimes brand that's name what a clothes. Would think. No, fuck off. Fuck that's off. That's what someone who doesn't wear drip yeah. would say. <laughs> <laughs> Are you telling me that every brand name stuff looks good? There, there are equally as many brand name stuff that I'm just like, this looks like absolute dog turd. And if you, if, if oh, I yeah, see if true, I see someone true. wearing that, I'm gonna think they have zero drip. You can wear a Louis, you, that could be Louis Vuitton. And yeah, I, could but think it looks I get like that, shit. but like at the same time, you know, if I was like walking down the strip flaunting off my drip, right? And then someone came up to me and was like, damn, that drip's sick. Where'd you get that? I wouldn't like be like Primark. <laughs> Primark. Like, yeah, I'm, not, I'm not gonna fucking say that. <laughs> Amazon but I'll, fuck, I'll, I'll fucking say that. If it looks good, who the fuck gives a shit. If it looks like, if you look like you have drip, then you have drip. Okay? I call, I doesn't matter this. where it comes from. Doesn't, my, I, doesn't motherfucking Gone, matter everyday, where it comes man. from. Fighting for the everyday. I caught this piece from Walmart. <laughs> this is from The Gap. Yeah, Target. <laughs> I mean, fa no, fashion is like the biggest, the biggest fucking scam there is. Are you, are you saying to me? I, just, I don't know. I just want to, I just want something I don't feel bad about buying now. I just want something that lasts as well. I'm obviously not going to like, you know, fucking go to every high I, end I've, place I, and buy yeah. like, a, you know, 500 old t-shirts or anything so like that. Many t-shirts from Primark that I yeah. sweat in once and it is like permanently stained. <laughs> I cannot get those orange pits out for, to save my life. Yeah. I mean, that's I, why you buy five of them, right? Well, that's the problem <laughs> is that I feel bad about buying a shirt but, that I bin immediately yeah. after I have one bad summer or, like, I, why or, buy, I, go one, why buy or I go to shirts, one Indian restaurant. Like, I mean, I mean the, the fabric is like definitely low well, quality problem, fabric, right? right? I don't want to buy a shirt that I feel like I can only get two, three good wears out of. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Well, that, that that's what you pay for yeah. when you pay for cheap fabric. But that's what I'm saying. Like, why don't you use that money to just buy one good yeah. quality one? No, that I'm, I'm not asked you. And is more- Nick, why I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying- You see hate in the environment. What, what, Fuck what, you with your t-shirts. What, 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 what has that got to do with truth over your Gantz trash. Because if you look good, if you look good, you look good. I'm yeah, just, but like, I'm I, I, I- Fuck I, the planet. <laughs> Fuck those little kids making those shirts. You got drip. I mean, the affordable price. I mean, you've just been brainwashed by the fashion industry to say this looks good because it's expensive and has a brand's name. I also think that you pay for the- the quality material that lasts a while. Yeah, I agree. Like, the, the quality material like doesn't glam, always right? equate. We, no. we buy those glam shirts, right? They're, yeah. like, they're like 60 bucks a t-shirt. Sometimes yeah. like 80 I've bucks. I've got some serious mileage out yeah. of this shirt. No, so I, I'm not I arguing. Would gladly, if people and think- And that shit's drippy. Yeah, dude, if people are like, bro, oh, it's $60 a t-shirt. Bro, how many of those t-shirts have you bought from like Primark and shit that, yeah. like, that are fucking garbage yeah. after like I'm, five I'm, I'm not arguing that, but I'm, I'm arguing that you can buy good quality, good looking stuff for a lot cheaper than you can get for glam and everything oh, no, like I, that. I, I just think fast fashion is like bad for the environment. It's just bad in general. I just I think you should buy shirts that- Just buy something that lasts. I mean, something are, you, are you saying that you, you, I mean, are you saying that a t-shirt should always be like $30 minimum? $30, no, I, $50 I, I, you know, minimum? I mean, it's, not so much like about, it's not so much about the price for me. It's about like what it's made of, right? And like if it lasts- I have so many t-shirts that I don't wear because I just have too many t-shirts because a lot of them I would just buy because mm. they were cheap. Yeah. I would never end up wearing them. I would always wear the nicer shirts mm. that I could clean. Didn't, didn't, didn't you also say that you just, you don't wash jeans, you just throw them away and buy well, no, new I would ones? Wear, <laughs> I would wear a pair of jeans jeans for like two years until they are fucked. I would buy right. the same pair of jeans over right. and over again. Well, you don't wash your jeans? I would, I would rarely wash them. 
<laughs> you don't need to wash jeans. Why are we talking about drip again? <laughs> <laughs> you don't need you're to wash jeans. You're taking drip advice from you this guy? You don't need to wash jeans. You're taking, taking drip, drip advice, advice from, from a guy who doesn't wash his jeans. Hey, Google. I'm, 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 I'm sorry, who is the peasant here, Connor? <laughs> I'm sorry, who is the you fucking peasant here? Jeans. Look, I, look, I will argue, right, that yes, like you could buy a $10 shirt, right, from Primark or yeah. something, and you can, you know, you can layer with something, you know, off cheap, and you can make it look good. Yeah. But what I'm saying is, the average you Primark should wash, buyer- You should never wash a pair of jeans, is one of the CEO of a jean company says. <laughs> <laughs> the CEO of a jean company. Genuinely, if it's a good quality jean. Said Michael Jean, <laughs> the creator of jeans. If it's a good quality jean, you don't need to wash yeah. it. I will- You just spot wash that shit. You got a stain, just get rid of the stain. I, I, I do not know enough about this topic. Genuinely, yeah. genuinely you don't need to wash it. To be fair, I don't- fair, I don't trust your opinion. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just saying, I don't know enough about this topic. Smell my jeans, guys. <laughs> smell my jeans. Get that shit smell out of my, my face, man. Get that shit out of my face. They smell fresh, That's bro. that musky <laughs> shit. Bro, I've been sweating in these. They smell good. Give no, me a get that. That's, that's, give me a sniff. That is drip. That's dripping with your fucking sweat, bro. Connor. Is that what you're talking about when you mean bro. drip? Bro, there's some stains here and there. I just got a spot clean. Gun, you don't know how many people would pay for that experience. Smell my jeans, bro. Smell. Oh, God, just smell Connor's jeans. Get, get the shit out of my face, man. Smell his jeans. Smell it. it smells good. Yeah? Yeah, man. Give my wife. <laughs> would you, like would you say that after wearing I, it in I, summer? No. I don't like washing my jeans because, and, and frankly as well, I, I don't like how they feel after you do wash them. They feel horrible the first time you wear them after you wash jeans. They right. feel all like crinkly and you got to wear them back in again. I don't like that. I well, I mean, it, that's if you do like a cold wash though. No, no warm wash. If, if you do a warm wash where it doesn't like shrink, then it's fine. Oh, it still does it. Really? Oh, you're, you're buying the cheap jeans then. I'm just, no, no I'm not. <laughs> the Uniqlo is finest. <laughs> I mean, to be fair, Uniqlo does do good jeans. I'm yeah. just saying, you don't need, a, you don't need to wash jeans. You know? no, yeah. I mean- I, I, I just, I wear the same pair of jeans. Like the, I don't have multiple, I only have one pair of jeans. When it breaks, I just mm. buy a new one. When it gets holes, buy a new one. When it, the stains are too deep, I get a new one. This is pretty much all I do. If you're concerned with like, you know, like removing the color from like, you know, from your shirts. Just I want my jeans to look fresh. Just, just soft wash everything. Yeah. You, I mean, don't, you don't need to wash jeans. Well, there you I go. Mean, I mean, the, the drip king the, has spoken. You don't need to. You don't I, need to wash jeans. Apparently, yeah, I, I mean, drip, I just, right. I just think, I just think, I just think, fashion is bullshit. Don't worry about right. how much you spend. I mean, it's glad it, to it, know it, that you have trash taste, gone. Yeah. I mean, I, I mean, like, okay, like, I the one thing I never got, for example, was Supreme, right? Like, okay, well, that's, like, that's, like, like, that's, that's, that's a different caliber. That's, what do you mean? That's a different caliber. Because it all comes on. It all no, comes on. No, 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 right? no, no, like that's Supreme. Well, like, how is it? Hype. It's literally a brand's no, name. No, no, no. That's expensive as fuck. No, that's no, that's not a brand. It's, that's a meme. Yeah, that's a meme. Yeah, but Supreme they, they, is they a, made at a this point. No, they it's made not a, a meme. They made a crowbar. Yeah. No one is going around being like this is. They a made a quality. brick. Yeah, this is not. This is not a company that is is in the business of making extremely high quality stuff. It's in the business of making scarce stuff. No, no, no. To this point, at this point, it is a meme, but it. It wasn't yeah. always a meme. If you go, you go to any Asian country back when it was like in their prime, and people had Supreme on just because it was it's, expensive no, and yeah. it was a, one of the biggest brand names yeah, at the point. It wasn't like good quality. No, it was. It wasn't good quality. Supreme was a skate brand. Supreme isn't like a daily wear. Like brand. skate skateboarders used to wear. Mm. That, that was like made for skateboarding. Yeah, but for the longest time, that was drip. That was drip, right? No, you, you, you can't you can't argue with me. You got no, there hasn't been that. a single like no, in my it's, opinion it's there hasn't been anymore. a single piece of supreme that, the, shirts the old, or anything I where I'm like, like that's drip. I feel like the old definition of drip was brand was brand. Yeah, it, had it was like brand. Gucci, Louis Vuitton, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, right? okay. But I feel like now because it's been adopted so much and used so much over yeah. the past few months, it does just mean looking good. Yeah. yeah. And I'm just saying, you don't need to fucking buy expensive stuff or brand new stuff. No, you stuff. don't. No, you also, drip. You also you shouldn't be buying ten t-shirts for five dollars. Yeah. You, uh, you also uh, shouldn't. You I also just, shouldn't be wearing a Primark shirt and calling it drip. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, I think you can call it drip. I'm just saying, if if, if, if you layer it right, if you if you layer yeah, it right. Okay, if you layer it right, but I'm not, there I'm not, isn't a single person going to Primark and being like, time to buy some drip. Also, also, no one, no one goes to Primark thinking that. Also, if you spend $30 t-shirt, right? Mm -hmm. that, I, I think that's a worthwhile investment. You're wearing this shit every day. 
Yeah. You're, you know, you're like very- I mean, If it awesome. looks good. That $30 right. t-shirt is going to last you longer than those right. three 10 pound yeah, shirts. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, probably. Yeah. Like I'm, I'm not, I'm not saying don't buy $30 t-shirts. If it looks, all I'm saying is if it looks good, it looks good. Doesn't matter about the price. Doesn't mm-hmm. matter about the fucking brand name. Mm-hmm. Like it, mm-hmm. like it's 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 all a fucking scam anyway. I think, because I think, like- I think at that point, it literally just comes to like that person's personal think, preference of like, do they consider this yeah. drip or not? Yeah. Look, I, if, I, I'm, I'm just saying just- I think we're just fucking dumb. I think we're really fucking dumb. Like we, <laughs> what, what, what the fuck does that mean? Don't put words in my mouth. I feel like this is a shit debate. <laughs> like three people have no idea in fashion being like, what is drip? I feel like I'm arguing the best way to perform open heart surgery. I feel like I'm really not qualified to be discussing this. Obviously we're not supreme. none of us are, but when, when are we ever qualified yeah, to talk true. about we're the never things qualified we to talk about shit. So we true. argue about. Yeah. Three weaves discuss drip. We are like possibly the three least qualified people to talk about drip. Yeah. That doesn't mean I'm not going to argue for it. So that's trash you know. taste. Yeah, no, that's, you know um, who do has drip though? Our patrons. They, they do. They do because they are dripping the funds into the Patreon. Man, this guy is <laughs> dripping. Man, he probably owns ten Supreme. God, bags. look at look at these hype beasts right here. Oh look at all of them. Amazing. Hey, if you'd like to join the hype beast gang, aka our Patreon, then go to our Patreon, patreoncom slash trash taste. Also, follow us on Twitter. Send us your memes on the subreddit. And if you hate our face, listen to us on Spotify. But uh, yeah, what the fuck was this episode even about? I don't. It's a very long episode. Know. How have we been recording? For? We talked yeah. about scams. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. We me, talked man. about scams, Harry Potter shits, and drip. <laughs> And Toy Story. And, and, Toy, and Story. Toy Story. And we somehow talked about Ava as well. I oh yeah, and Ava. I completely <laughs> forgot that we just talked about Ava. Shinji is Bojack Horseman. Shinji is Bojack. Uh, shits disappear in Harry Potter and yeah. you can buy drip from Primark. Hagrid, That's three things you Hagrid should take fists. out. Hagrid fists. Uh, Hagrid fists. All right. <laughs> bye guys. Right, bye. Bye. <laughs>